And welcome to the Bowls Auckland Champion of Champion Triples YouTube broadcast live here from the Palace at Royal Oak Bowling Club. My name is Alex Reid and I'm joined today by Fred O'Reilly. Brett, we're down to the final. Who are we watching? Got a tattoo, Alex. Um, this should be an intriguing final between the Bridge Park and the other two teams. Bridge Park, um, Kirsty Hill, Leslie McClendon and Aggie Motu, hugely experienced and... Uh, and credentialed uh, team and up against similar opponents in Marion Hakaraya, Lauren Mills and Robin Rehana um, from the Te Aratu Club. Again, uh, uh, six women who have um, all played at, um, at national level uh, in, um, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, all featured in Bowls Auckland uh, finals and events over a long period of time, and I'm expecting this to be a cracker of a uh, of a final. Um, and uh, Kirsty Hill, the lead for the Bridge Park team, uh, gets them off to a, a great start, and uh, I think that will be uh, a sign of things to come. Mm. Marion Hakaraya, um, the lead for the Te Aratu Peninsula team. Marion um, hugely involved in um, in bowls in the Auckland Tamaki Makoto area very involved with um, with Aotearoa Māori bowls and um, and uh, just from my perspective as the regional director of Oceania for World Bowls very involved with our re recent Digicel Oceania Challenge um, that was played at the Blockhouse Bay Club in uh, in Auckland, Tamaki Makoto, and very involved with putting together the the poor fitty and the and the um, tikanga that supported that event and got us off to such a great start. So nice to see Marion, um, uh, you know, involved as a player on this occasion. And uh, right on cue, she's drawn a front. Oh, no, look at that! I think it's going to be it'll be fascinating to watch that battle, Brett, between uh, Kirsty Hill and Marion Hakaraya and see how it goes because it can make such a difference uh, to the end result. Absolutely. Um, both players are um, uh, are in, uh, both teams, should I say, are, are good draw sides but also shot players. And here you can see Leslie McClendon immediately um, playing up to that bowl um, on the instructions of her skip, Aggie Motu, and, uh, and getting, a, getting a result and opening it up. Lauren Mills is the second or measurer for the Te Atatū Peninsula team. Um, Lauren um, is a dual member. She's also a member at the Takapuna Club, where I play and has um, enjoyed success um, uh, this season um, as part of um, uh, the Te Aratu team uh, with um, a skip by Adam Blutcher, who's playing next door today, who were runner-up in the Bowls New Zealand Bowls 3-5 event, and Lauren's also recently in the last 12 months won the New Zealand Champion of Champion Fours mm. playing for Takapuna and also the uh, National Interclub playing for Takapuna. So uh, so she's she's a credential player as are all of these players. Um, so Robin Rehana um, puts a foot out and says this is where I need you to finish, uh, Lauren. Um, I think the other thing about both skips is that they're not afraid to attack. So while we'll see some really good draw play today, we can fully expect them to be attacking if need be. So Lauren slips up, slips under again there, um, heavy and narrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, I, we had a front toucher, but if you hadn't seen that, you'd look at this and think just about first end nerves. You know, they've had those two mm. trial ends, but like you say, sometimes you get to that first end of a of a big match and <laughs> your touch just deserts you a little bit to start off with, but they'll settle in soon enough. These guys are all very experienced. Absolutely right, and I think the um, one of the things with the artificial surfaces is even if they're playing a little slow, and we know that we've had a lot of moisture in the air in the last 48 hours in Auckland, the bowls still turn, mm. and so um, so line line is important, and uh, and we've seen um, uh, you know that uh, you will get you will get rewarded if you take your green, you will get finish, and. Um, and so, um, even though it's maybe slightly slower than uh, than you would expect, you've still got to take that green. So, uh, and Robin Rehana out on a, a big line. Well, with she's her been ball. listening to you, Brett. Look at that, taking a nice wide line. 
and even though it looks a little wide, you'll see them start to creep back in. There you go. Um, so that's probably two to the uh, Te Aratu team as Aggie Motu looks to play her last bowl for the Bridge Park team. Bridge Park, beautiful bowling club located just under Mangani Maunga or Mountain um, on the on the um, the shores of the Manukau Harbour. Beautiful setting for a bowling club. And uh, Aggie, um, really credentialed player in Auckland, and that's why she's been that's such a classy. force. Yeah, I mean, and you can see both bowls, perfect green, mm. corrected beautifully with their second bowl. So it's uh, Bridge Park holding one, and Robin Rayhana looking for that bowl. Oh, she's not wide. and I think I need a, a slice of good fortune here. Yep, so it's one to the Bridge Park team, uh, Kirsty. Hill grabs the mat and uh, she'll deliver the jack on the second end. Um, Alex, just while we're um, warming up in this final, I just mm -hmm. want to use this opportunity to to um, acknowledge the, the passing of a of a dear fr dear friend and fantastic administrator in the game, Helen Stallard. Um, I know um, Helen, you know, synonymous with um, with bowls in Auckland originally, then moved on to the national. Um, uh, seen as an administrator with um, with Bowls New Zealand and indeed at the time of her passing was also on the international scene as a technical delegate with World Bowls and I think um, all of us are still reeling a little bit mm. with with the shock of her untimely passing. Yes, no, thank you for that, um, Brett, and certainly extend uh, condolences to, I mean, she had so many uh, people that she made an impact on and it struck home for us um, uh, after we sort of announced what happened uh, to the bowling community, just how many people from everywhere said, well, you know, I knew Helen. <laughs> uh, so just an incredible impact and far, far, far too soon. And, and I think with, with Helen, she was such, she was, she was a formidable personality. She was someone who had incredible determination, but and an absolute love of our game and her family. Um, but, Anything she did in the game of bowls, she gave it, you know, a hundred percent, and uh, you know, very focused on the detail. And so, you know, as you say, you know, there's been Pacific Island um, countries and bowlers in those countries who re who remember her involvement with um, uh, with Pacific Mini Games events. There's been people that have remember her involvement on the in and around World Bowls events that have been held in New Zealand. Her involvement with umpires, her involvement with administration, uh, her involvement with um, uh, with blo with um, uh, visually impaired bowlers, um, and you know, and her uh, and her own husband David Stallard, and uh, and part of a bowling dynasty. Her mother Joan Jagger, a very fine administrator, and from my memory, president of the New Zealand Women's Bowlers Association. May have even been a, been involved, a, been a president of Bowls New Zealand. I can't quite remember, but. Definitely um, uh, a fantastic legacy as a family and an amazing legacy as a person. So um, uh, she'll be remembered for a long uh, time to come. And um, uh, and so, yeah, nice nice to be able to just share that with, um, with viewers. And I know um, uh, there will be a lot of people who will be thinking, you know, feeling for David and the, and the family. Mm. So back here in the final of this Bowls Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples, we have um, the Bridge Park team holding shot, um, Leslie McLendon's first bowl, and um, uh, and they've got uh, potentially two here as Lauren Mills, who's measurer or second player for Te Aratu, plays her second bowl on this second end of the final. And again, just a little heavy, uh, just drifting drifting past. I think um, this final, 18 ends of course, and it's uh, still got a time limit, but I'm pretty sure they add an hour for the final. So it's essentially a no time limit game uh, here. There will be no no concern about the time. Which is good. I mean, both of these teams are, um, uh, are pretty, pretty no nonsense and, and will play um, you know, I don't think we'll see a lot of time wasting, but it is good just to have a little bit of um, 
bit of time up your sleeve, then you know if there are tense moments where the players need to get together and, and discuss tactics, um, it's good that they have that opportunity. So um, uh, at the moment, it's the Bridge Park team holding shots here, and as Agimotu comes down on the backhand side and just drifts past to, amongst that uh, that group of bowls, probably not a shot. And now it's Robin Rehana, the Te Aratu skip, with her first bowl of the second end. And they're coming down on a good line here, Alex. Yeah, on that backhand side. Let's see when it turns. Little feather. Just finishes out of it. So at this stage, I think um, it's definitely a couple of shots to, to Bridge Park. Um, and let's see what sort of correction we get from Aggie Motu this time. Motu name, of course, featured in uh, in bowls and boxing these days. Yes. And um, uh, Aggie certainly played some outstanding bowls in the semi final this morning in their win against Judy Rail's gallant Glen Eden team. So, Robin Ray Hunter, can she get in here for shot? Or even second shot. Slightly willing it to hold up. She needs it just to go on a little bit of a walk. Even second shot she'll be happy with, Brett. But oh, I'm not sure if she's quite made it. Uh, out comes one shot. One and a half, maybe. Out comes the finger measure from Lauren Mills. Oh, they're, clear, they're clearing bowls left, right and centre. Jeez. Oh, uh, we'll go for a measure, I think, Leslie, on the on the measures. So definitely one uh, taken out for Bridge Park, which was Leslie McClendon's first bowl that uh, uh, that drew the shot. Now they're measuring between those bowls, and it looks like two. So um, <coughs> so it's Bridge Park, Kirsty Hill, Leslie McClendon, and Aggie Motu um, off to a to a good start again, as we saw in the semi-final this morning, um, at a three to one, three to nil lead after two of the eighteen ends in this Bowls Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples final. Isn't in the background a sign of the times, Brett? We've got a no smoking sign, but they've had, they've put no vaping underneath <laughs> the no smoking, so obviously it must be a new sign up there. Yep, this um. Uh, this magnificent uh, indoor facility um, uh, here at the Royal Oak, which we have um, dubbed the Palace. Um, uh, this, this, um, this the site of this, of course, a, um, a green where many national finals have been played mm -hmm. over the years, um, particularly when uh, this club was under the Onihanga um, name before the amalgamation of Onihanga and uh, and Hillsborough to form the Royal Oak Club about a dozen seasons ago, and um, and so great to see it now repurposed as an indoor facility with a, this artificial surface, and uh, and this is this has really enhanced um, the you know, bowls in in the um, Auckland Tamaki Makaro area, and it's a fine facility for Royal Oak. Um, which enables our game to be played 12 months of the year, which is a fantastic thing. Absolutely, and removes the stress of, um, of weather-related stoppages, and that's only going to increase as the climate continues to do what the climate is doing. You know, If you think, um, looking forward in 10 years' time, what's the climate in New Zealand going to look like? It's not going to be conducive yeah. to a lot of natural greens uh, running for as long as we're used to them running, Brett. Just get the team to update that scoreboard, uh, um, Bridge Park leading 3-0 after... Uh, two of those 18 ends, and Kirsty Hill just getting a slide off her own bowl, a touch on the jack, and it's a measure for shot. Uh, Ma Marion Hakaraya yeah, um, just checking the, where her bowl, her first bowl is in relation to the jack. It's slightly low or short of the jack, and uh, she'll be looking to um, to drop another one close. Yeah, she not get the shot, and she's on a on a good line here. The bowls will break away on this hand towards the end of their run, but that's uh, that's tidy in the in the area, and um, now Leslie McClendon into her work for the Bridge Park team. 
on the back end. So we see the umpire in the background. Hand on hip. <laughs> yeah, Les, Les Smith, um, one of New Zealand's top umpires and a, you know, uh, another one of those volunteers who puts a huge amount of time into our, our game. Um, so the teams are in expert hands. And um, we've also got the men's champion of champion triples being played uh, today. They're down to the semi-final stages. Yes, they are. And we will endeavour to get updates as to how those semi-finals are progressing as they progress. But I can tell you, Brett, that it's uh, Te Ara 2, a team of uh, Adam Blucher at skip, Brendan Kelly at 2, and Peter Blucher off the front oh, nice. playing Jamie Hill, Ryan Hill, and Mai Tarua. Uh, and then in the other semi-final, it's Balmoral. We've got Alan Moyle. Uh, Travis good, and Chris Dearsley oh, yeah. playing uh, Colin Williams, Harry Davis and Aidan Takaru. So some good semi-finals going on on the same green. Of course, uh, some names that we might have expected to hear there. The Galloway name at her home ground having won the Open Centre oh. Triples uh, earlier on this oh, season, but they were defeated 13 points to 12 by the oh, Teatro oh, 2 team. Okay. So they, the I suspect, will be in another po po portion of the up. club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brett uh, having perhaps a little bit of hydration there so they didn't make it through to the semi-final round and uh, a good win there, 40 out of two and yeah. a bit of confidence Yeah, close, close um, quarter-final that 13-11 to Te Aratu playing at the last end and um, they managed to restrict uh, Michael Galloway and the Royal Oak team to one shot so oop, there's got oh, the there's jack, jack movement, jack mo movement. so <laughs> that was Lauren Mills who was coming down um, uh, and uh, ended up being heavy, uh, getting the thin end of the jack, and unfortunately for the Tiaratu team, the jack has sprung over to um, to Leslie McClendon's two bowls. Shake of the head from Robin Ray Hanna there, I'm not, and uh, and it's uh, it's Bridge Park uh, now holding, I think, um, at least two shots and maybe three, um, uh, having probably held the shot until. Um, that bowl of Lauren Mills is so, um, uh, you know, it's a game of um, of um, fine margins. And if the jack had gone straight back, it probably would have been mm. in uh, to the advantage of um, of the Tiaratu team, but it was not to be. So uh, now we have Egimotu just drawing towards um, the head, holding a number here because yep. that's Kirsty Hills. Well, that's, that that's four. Is Robin the sort of player who's just going to have a go at this? I think she'll attack. I think uh, kills good value. The, the balls are so close, and yes, she's on the drive. I like this call here from Robin. Where's it going? Is it close? Yeah, well. Where's the? Why is the jack not moved, Brett? <laughs> it's unbelievable. She got a ball square. Little unlucky there. Um, you would have thought, um, you know, there would have been a more. Um, uh, she would have. She would have got more of the. Um, uh, the, I mean, more of a result. Yeah, she yeah. played that so well, and she just removed a bowl square. We saw the shot bowl rock, uh, but not even any jack movement, really. And here's a great bowl from Aggie Motu. I mean, how can you go from a, a drive to a draw? It's so hard to hit. She needs to use a lot of Kirstie's bowl if she's going to stay on the drive and try and use that low bowl as a shelf onto the jack. This is, a, I mean, early on in the game, but it still feels like a big moment. Less weight this time from yeah. Robin. Yeah, playing more just to try and sit on one of those bowls and get her... Get out of the way. Um, she's just going to slip past. She gets the edge. Well, that's f at least four. Yep, four, four it is to the uh, Bridge Park team. And a little bit like our semi-final this morning, mm. um, it's Bridge Park getting a, um, a way to a good start, albeit a little bit fortuitous as a result of that... Um, uh, that movement of the jack by um, by Tiara two. Um, look at this, Brett. So this is that last bowl. She's just a bowl wide there, Robin. Yep. Rolling that shot bowl around the corner. Definitely the right idea. Cert you know, she certainly didn't get. You know, didn't um, didn't make the result any worse. She was four down when she let it go. But yeah, if she'd managed to get a stick on that bowl square, um, the chances were that she uh, would re would re would reduce the number. But in the meantime, it's now Gimotu leading by seven shots to zero. Um, we're playing the fourth end of mm. the um, of this. Ignore the board um, where it says seven ends. Um, we're playing end four. 
and um, uh, it's Marion Hakaraya with her um, first bowl. Um, an important, and uh, that's a, that's a good first bowl from uh, from Marion, as she um, as it's important that they bounce back now. Yeah, and um, I know uh, Marion and Robin. I think we had a Somerset Nationals up in Auckland maybe two times ago, and I remember the finals were on the Carlton Cornwall Greens, and I think Mary and Robin got third equal at the Somerset Nationals in the pairs, and I recall Marion's leading in particular, very impressive, you know, just uh, her first bowl effectiveness right up there, and when she gets into the groove, she's as good as anyone. Oh, the... they're a great combination, and Come I mean, on, I man. think, and, on, you know, we, we, we're seeing two uh, teams here that are, that are used to playing with each other, um, Kirsty Hill, um, uh, you know, recognised as one of the better draw players in the in uh, in the women's game nationally, um, and you know, part of that very famous um, Hill um, uh, family. In fact, her brother Jamie Hill and mm. her nephew Ryan Hill are playing next door. <laughs> they they are representing um, Grayland, the Grayland uh, club. Uh, Jamie, a former New Zealand uh, player and New Zealand champion. And now Leslie McClendon into her work for the Bridge Park team. Um, achieved a lot of success as a junior in Auckland, including uh, being part of that Auckland team that won the the uh, national um, one to eight uh, into centre, um, and now stepping into the senior ranks. And uh, she's up against Lauren Mills, who's um, won a lot of um, titles originally out of the Northland Centre and these days playing in both um, North Harbour and Auckland. Lauren just struggling a little bit with her weight early in this in this uh, game, just playing a little heavy, uh, but on that ca in that situation, getting a good sit behind and, and, and ending up in a good position for the um, for the Tiaratu team. As Leslie McClendon comes down with her second bowl. This is close, close here. She's going to get the jack just... Ball's just hanging a little bit there with weight. Um, uh, so it's one at the moment to the Tiaratu side, that bowl of Marion Hakaraya. And now Lauren Mills, can she add another shot here? On the backhand, practices a lot, Lauren Mills. And when she's in the right space, very, very hard to beat, very consistent bowler. As you said, I think just finding your way here in this final. Yeah, I mean, not a bad home there in that it covers those two bowls of Leslie McClendon, but I expect uh, Aggie Motu will be will be drawing here, looking for a um, looking for a good tight um, bowl. We saw on the last on the first end um, just her ability under to draw under pressure, and I think she'll be. Um, She'll be playing down that forehand side and looking to draw close. Um, Aggie on the forehand. It's interesting that for a very long time, Aggie played with ABT, the ABT bowls. Um, they had quite a big swing. And it's only in the last two, maybe three seasons that she switched to these slightly tighter lined uh, bowls and the good thing about that, I suppose, is it certainly teaches you to take your green, doesn't it, Brett? So you're always going to be finishing on the centre line, slightly wider the centre line. So still one here to um, to Bridge Park. Um, Aggie's just falling, uh, maybe half a metre um, short, as uh, Robin Rayhana comes down with her first bowl, and that's a really good bowl. That'll be uh, close to second shot. Um, there's some Glendon coming out to have a look and just see what the situation is, and just saying, look, just draw down there, beat your own bowl, and you'll be pretty close to getting the shot. On the forehand side, very economical action. Very little to go wrong with it. It's what you want in a bowl's delivery. Close here, it. Alex. Close here. When's it turning? Two shot. rolls, good shot. Yeah, well played. <laughs> Almost exactly what Leslie McClendon asked for. Just to you know, play down there, turn the bowl over. So Lauren Mills saying we're one down to that bowl. Come down and play a similar sort of bowl, but on the other hand, looking to turn over uh, Marion Hakaraya's bowl 
or um, will come underneath and tip the shot ball. But I think she's... Well, they do come back, but I'm not sure with that weight she'll get that turn. That's the challenge. Now, when's it going to stop? Good effort. Yeah, your effort. That... Yeah, good effort weight-wise. Just got stuck wide there. So they're having a quick um, a quick look. Kirsty Hill's confident. She's put, already put the mat down. I like that. It's almost gamesmanship, yep. isn't it? Yeah, they do that. Because you're just saying, oh, we've got the shot. <laughs> so one to Bridge Park. They continue their early momentum in this mm. in this final and now out to eight shots um, to zero after four of the 18 ends. Um, we just see um, next door the, the semi-final between Jamie Hill and his Greyland team and they're playing Adam Blucher and his Te Aratu men's team. As we see, oh, this is a... A shot over there, so we've got a camera on that semi-final, so every now and then we can pop across and see what happens. So there was a rocket that flew up. Mate. It wasn't a Royal Oak rocket, it was one coming out of someone else's hand that flew up the rink uh, on that end as we see Kirsty Hill draw another touch-up. Well, a jack just came flying across from that rink, so whoever... Um, who, who, so someone um, did hit a drive with one of their bowls, and uh, so that end was killed, and they'll now replay that. Um, both Adam and Jamie, very, very good drivers. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so we may well see a bit of action from Don't next door. Meanwhile, back yeah. in the in the women's champion of champion triples final, it's Bridge Park leading eight to zero, and it's Kirsty Hill with, as you said, Alex, a front toucher, mm. and uh, and again, a familiar pattern again, from what buddy. we saw in the semi final with Kirsty, um, getting this team off to a good start and. Uh, and allowing Aggie well, Motu to pull the tune um, with the missed. game. So um, uh, Marion Hakaraya just over with her first oh, ball, just checking yeah, with about, um, Skip Robin Rayhana how much room, mm -hmm. well, how, how far over she was, just so she can make that adjustment. And uh, look for Marion to be pretty close with her second ball here. Yeah, it will feel, uh, I think we spoke about it in the semi final. Realistically, an 8 0 lead when you've got 14 ends to play isn't huge. Uh, but if you are the Te Aratu team and you haven't actually got off the, the starting block yet and you haven't scored a point yet, it feels more than eight points. It sure does, and it, and it does mess, mess a little bit with you, I think. It's not nice to see that zero up on the on the scoreboard. You know, you do want to get get a good start. But, um, but they're, these are all experienced players. They won't be too daunted by the margin. But they will be, you know, concerned to be, you know, getting into the yeah, game. And here's here. a good bowl from Leslie well McClendon. Lovely bowl. Almost the perfect spot. Just sliding okay. by. Um, good Little. second shot just Jack behind. Um, uh, Robin Rayhana indicating that Jack's not quite touching the bowl. So can Lauren Mills draw a shot here? Keeps that target nice and narrow too. Mm. As we see Lauren on the forehand. Oh, this is important. We know these bowls drift a little bit. This Shit. is close here. Square and one, one, oh, one oh, shot. That's played. beautiful. Brilliantly played. Is that spray? Um, oh, yeah. It's one of Lauren's signature shots. Mm -hmm. You know, just that sit, sit you play and the same stay shot. Yeah. Um, Any shot is and good. Uh, just beautifully played there. Um, and now it's Lisa McClendon's turn to play a similar sort of bowl. Looking for um, to sit the bowl or to trail the jack. It's probably a shot <laughs> we've seen come more and more into the game as our greens have slowed slowed down a little bit. Close here, Alex. Oh, as we buddy. see a rinse and repeat, but she's got the jack oh, instead. Oh, lucky. Yeah, that's and okay. it went too far, did it? 21. One, says Robin. What a magnificent. <laughs> this has been a great end to watch. We've just seen two great shots. Oh, absolutely. The jack just going six inches too far there. Half a mat. And... Um, and right now for Te Aratu, oh, important that they get another bowl there really because um, things are looking a little precarious. No, it's, a dang, it's a lonely, you'd almost call it a temporary one shot, wouldn't you? Because you could hit either of those front bowls and the Te Aratu, or Te Aratu, sorry, bowl is disappearing out of the head. Though if that, uh, the blue bowl that sits to our furthest to our left at 10 o'clock, there might be jack movement if you go through it. Robin wanting this bowl up. Oh, and that's unlucky. Oh, she didn't want that ball up because that's a Kirsty Hill ball. It is a Kirsty Hill ball, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, um, one will never be under any illusions about uh, how Robin Rayhan is um, it's good. Uh, feeling. She wears a heart on her sleeve, um, but but always in a and uh, she's um, a great character. And here we see that first ball from Lauren Mills. Beautiful, just perfectly set out the the Kirsty Hill shot, and then uh, Leslie McClendon. 
playing um, almost an identical bowl, but this time getting the jack and moving it and still being one down. And then, unfortunately, Lauren Mills turning up the bowl. To be fair, she had to get another bowl on the head. So just a bit unlucky that she managed to get that bowl square and it's um, Bridge Park holding one. Um, and I expect Aggie Motu will be looking to try and draw a shot up just around those bowls. Oh, That's what she's yeah. trying to do, but she's going to put mud in the eye instead, which is just as good. Although it makes it, makes it safe to play the forehand through the through the gap. Oh, maybe it's, it looks it looks harder from this angle, yeah. actually. I take it back. Yeah, I think she was probably just looking to get around that bunch, see if she could get a catcher mm. or um, just give, give herself another bowl there. Looks like lunch is served what here at the Palace. Um, umpire Les what Smith kind of with... Uh, Looks like a pretty tasty Very bread nice roll looking, there. Yeah, filled roll. So we see um, uh, Carol Berry from the, the Titarangi RSA team. They were beaten uh, by the Tiaratu team in their semi final. So Robin Rehana. She'll be she'll be looking to this is work close. up there. She is close. Inside out off that. Onto the shot. She's close. Oh, oh, they got the wrong edge. And possibly two down now. Oh, that was with Kirsty Hill's bowl. <laughs> Who would have thought that that was possible? I don't know. Kirsty Hill of a game. Well, that's why I placed those two bowls there, because she's holding two. Yeah. That's unbelievable stuff. So Kirsty calling this this hit. Inter interestingly, she's leading, but obviously, um, as the more experienced player, is stepping in to, to make this call. Um, and so um, Aggie Motu now again on her forehand side, looking to just try and get around that, uh, oh, that like bunch that. and add another shot. And she's close. Well... Robin. Oh, Lauren, that's a great bowl. Lauren, that's is that our bowl at the back? That's a great bowl. I'm not sure is if it's a counter. Is that our bowl at the back? Robin wants to hit it, uh, but they don't have anything at the back, says <laughs> Lauren. Lauren's saying, look, come up and have a look. You've got good chances. If you play a similar body to what you did last time, there's things to wriggle in off. You can go yeah. inside out off something onto the jack. See that, or maybe the forehand. Brett onto that blue bowl that sits at 10 o'clock to your screen, which hits on to the Tiaratu bowl just to roll it. It just needs to roll into the head. I don't know. What would you play? Look, look I think um, she can play up on that backhand side. I mean, they only... The the danger would be losing their blue bowl, the bowl of Marion Hakaraya's clean, but mm. I can't really see it going clean without... Your collision uh, bowl. Yeah, eh? your yeah. bowl, the uh, Robin's bowl landing in that area. So I think coming down there, looking in off shot off that bowl, um, gives them a chance of reducing and maybe even just sitting in, sitting in there. So um, I imagine it won't be a full on drive, but it'll just be more of a running weight. And yes, it is. And it's on a good line. She's very close here. It's about the collision bowl. Watch the collision line. bowl. It's on a good line. I think she's going to get it. She's played it well. Oh, oh, so unlucky. Desperately unlucky. That was a beautiful shot. Nevertheless, a good bowl. She's reduced it down to one. Mm. Um, and they were probably two, maybe three down beforehand. So so really well um, well played. And um, uh, unfortunately, it, it doesn't score for Tiara 2, but it keeps them in touch. And um, quick as a flash, Kirsty Hill's got the mat down, I the like jack that. up, and yeah. we're into, the, into this, the, um, uh, the sixth end of this... Um, uh, of this final of the Bowles Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples. Nine the score to Bridge Park, and I think uh, a part of Kirsty being so quick onto to. the mat, it's about making hay while the sun shines, isn't it? <laughs> the, uh, Bridge Park, and she pre chalked that one, but that was, <laughs> she didn't get a touch with it. Bridge, Bridge Park, nine up. You're playing it's a classy really nice. team, it's never going to last forever. So you have to try and make the most you can of your little runs of form. Mm -hmm. So as far as Kirsty's concerned, goes quickly as possible. Don't let Bridge, uh, don't let Tiara to think too much yeah, about think, what's happening. I think a characteristic of the Hill dynasty, if I can call them that, you know, um, uh, Father Neville Hill and, and uh, Mother, the late oh, Karen uh, Hill, Ne uh, Hamblin, um, Jamie, um, Kirsty, Liam and now Ryan is they tend to be Up pretty here. quick. You know, first sight players take take a line and play, play it versus someone like Marion Hakaraya, much more deliberate, takes your time. Nothing wrong with either way of playing. It's just a matter of, of what works for you mm. in that um, in that uh, that process. And uh, uh, Kirsty Hill's right, swapping mate. over here, and she'd be pretty disappointed with that. 
Yeah, walked away immediately, really. Moment she let it go. Mate. You know, reasonable line, okay. but just, just no, no weight. And so it's one at this stage to Bridge Park. Marion Hakarai's first bowl. And uh, I expect Marion to be pretty close with the second one. Uh, uh, and got a and, I've, and I've completely put the commentator's <laughs> curse on her because um, she's, um, she's ended up steering it wide. Beautiful speed, um, probably about okay. jack level where she Before ended up. But unfortunately, well wide of the uh, the target, and uh, uh, that's left the gate open for Leslie McClendon to try and uh, and get the shot for the Bridge Park team. And on the forehand, she is not far away. If she's got the weight right here. Just a, they just do a little wobble there. Hello. Yeah. On nice that on that side, you can see them just kind of stri just slightly straightening. Um, I think if the bowls are, if if the bowls have just got a slight can, you know if you if there's a slight wobble in the bowl, they just don't seem to break across that line where, um, if 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 it's a bit of a smoother delivery, they do tend to turn. Yeah. So yeah. as we'll see with Lauren Mills' Sorry, bowl here, this is going to be close. That's a lovely yeah, bowl. That? Yep, that's Lauren's nice. um, uh, best draw bowl of this uh, this final and this um, end starting to build quite nicely for the uh, Te Aratu team as they try and claw their way back into this final. Mm -hmm. Once you play a shot like that, um, uh, someone of Lauren's ability, once you find a good bowl, it tends more to come from that well. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Like she's going, well, now I know what the weight in the green is. To get there, I'll lock into mm. it and she'll be she'll be away. Lizzie McClendon with a garden rake. Um, <laughs> Uh, just obviously looking to try and make sure she reached the, the bowl but was ended up being um, too heavy here, and through the head. So at this Come stage, on. it's um, it's started to holding some nice That's shots here. And bendy. again, see that bowl just hold nice. slightly. A little bit now, of a walk. Yep. <laughs> now, now it moves result, in, Lauren. and that's um, that's a great bowl from Lauren. That's two good um, draw bowls from here, and that's, that's uh, like probably Tiara to holding <laughs> four shots, and Marion and uh, Robin Rayhan are not hiding her delight, delight <laughs> with the fact that. Um, um, they are holding the shots on the changeover, uh, which hasn't necessarily been a feature of the um, of the finals so far. The good thing too, Brett, is that there is lots of gaps. So it's a four which you can only really mm. cut down by drawing, uh, which means that it's just one shot for, for Aggie to play. She's not really a percentage shot there. It's just a, a nice sort of the four spaced out bowls. They can be the times where you score numbers if your opposition oh, skip just blinks for a second. And Aggie's blinked here. And an opportunity to draw a fifth. Yep, you know, and these ends are dangerous, aren't they? Because it look, you know, you, you know, you think, well, look, I've got plenty of room That's there. That's the thing. It's not that, t you know, it's not that difficult to get a shot, and it's just in those moments you can maybe drop your concentration a little bit, just forget to to be up to it. So Robin Rayhana with her first bowl. She also desperately want to be sitting with five here. Yeah, and she's played it well. She's played it really well. And still gaps. Like it's yep. not really a shot to play with weight here because there's gaps everywhere, Brett. You just have to try and draw to cut it down. And the pressure that Aggie's under now out of nowhere, huge. Yep. Um, again, just very deliberate. She's taking a lot more green oh. this time. Oh, I think she hurt, well, she, her bowl is a turning bowl. I think she's close here. Oh, now, wobble, see the, the little wobble? It's gone for a walk. Oh, dearie me. Yep, she'll be disappointed with that beautiful mm. speed. <coughs> but just on that occasion, just that little straightener there just held the bowl slightly. And so this could be a full count, it, Alex. It absolutely <laughs> could be in this game. This has could be. just lit up. Look at this here, Robin. Yep, she's drawn another shot. Good bowl. Right. What well, is it? I think it's full house. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this as a six. That's the sort of six two, that happens three, in triples because all that was left four. was a draw. One, two, three, four. That's all that they want to concede. And if I was Marion, five. 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 Oh. You know, just you know, say so shouldn't say just five. <laughs> <coughs> five shots to um to um uh, to Tiara two and how quickly the complexion of the game can uh, can change. Two bowl triples. That's a perfect example of yep. this two bowl triples game. You know, you weren't really even on the skips crossover. Uh, the casual viewer or anyone, you'd be watching it and thinking, yeah, we'd expect maybe maybe a two to a team here, but uh, 
Just uh, fantastic stuff there from Tiara too. Well, ha having watched uh, both the semi-final and now the final, that, that would be the first time today that we've not seen this uh, Bridge Park team with a close shot and probably the first time we've not seen uh, Aggie Motu recover. I, I, um, and we did see the bowls sort of beh behaving a little uncharacteristically, but at the end of the day, well done Tiara too. Just, just played um, six really... Um, Good draw bowls. Those good bowls, eh? They're there or thereabouts in the area. <laughs> Challenge your opponents to get to do better than they did, and they didn't. And so they're back in this game at 9 5 after six hey, ends mate. of the 18. Mm. And um, uh, uh, Kirsty Hill. <laughs> oh, that's classy from Kirsty. <laughs> yep. I was just going to say, but how important Molly. is it that Teata to also score on this end? And uh, Kirsty Hill not wanting that to happen at all and drawing a touch of that. No, not quite a touch. I think it's maybe a couple yeah, of cigarette papers off the jack. Run it and, up. Um, Run it up. Marion Hakaraya. Can Come she on, just man. slip under the She's close. Oh, She's very close. Oh. She's played Look a at this. Here. Wow. What a shot. Great bowl. Beautiful bowl. Still one down, I think, to that bowl at 11 o'clock of Kirsty Hill. Still got it, mate. Uh, mm. This game's just really sort of taken yeah, off with yeah. his Narua. You get around was, Maz's... Uh, just as, as, well, it wasn't as expected, but it was just sort of plodding along, wasn't it? Bridge Park, 9-0 yeah. up. Kirsty Hill swaps over to the forehand side. I think pro probably holding Sorry, shot there. And so Egimotu, um getting her to swap okay. over. She just right. slipped a little Lauren, wide. And draw up to Kirsty. Uh, so it's 1-2. One, we're, one, we're actually one down. But don't, yeah, if you just yeah, draw up yep, to Kirsty. One to the Bridge Park over. team. Robin Rahana saying, playing like we play like we're one down. If you're Lauren, you're almost missing heavy here. You don't need the shot yet. It's still, we're not even a quarter of the way through the end. So miss a few feet, feet past and see if uh, you can build more than a one out of this head. Good, Lauren, will, Lauren will be playing to it. Stop she, she, um, she plays these shots really well, just playing with a little bit of weight. Real close. So Lovely shot. Yep, just, um, just slipping past. Um, perhaps a little heavier back? than she might have liked, but, you know, it's... Um, it starts to build some good position for the Tiaratu team. Leslie McClendon now be important for Bridge Park to get a bowl past the jack here, um, just to cut down the options for um, green, their Tiaratu opponents. And good right green. on cue, Leslie there. matches the bowl of uh, Lauren Mills is at the at the back. Um, Lauren just getting some clarification from Robin about what sort of way right she mate. wants her to play. She's saying, right, about, you know, if you can play with weight to there, mm. sit the shot bowl, trail the jack. And that is about building ahead, isn't it, Brett? You know, it's not, if she gets the shot, that's fantastic. But it's about if Lauren misses the initial very difficult target. She's, looking pretty good, mate. she's even making a bigger yeah. shelf for, for Robin, potentially, if you just finish on the slightly wide side. Oh, nice up, nice here from All the way. Oh, hard luck. Lauren, it's a good shot. She played it well. Perfect weight. Oh. Far away the jack. Yeah. Yep, she's got the shot. So she's just see. moved that jack far enough for uh, Marion. Nice That's what Akariah bowled to, to count. Yeah, it's very well played. And so now it's Leslie McClendon who will be playing a similar sort of shot down on her back end, looking to try and turn the Kirsty Hill bowl over or sit the, uh, the shot. And uh, she's close here. Just a little wider, but uh, drawing in nicely, Look and just there. that'll be third shot there, Sorry, and uh, the and shot. give Aggie Motu, you know, know, a chance to, to, to play with confidence, so knowing that if she does mm. happen to to uh, dislodge the um, the Kirsty Hill bowl, they'll still you're uh, still okay, aren't yeah. you? Because you've got a, a good second and a good third shot, and it's impossible. Well, it should be theoretically impossible to move both without the jack also moving. So that, that creates it pretty safe. There's Mai there, the Greyland lead. Just on the right of your screen. Yep, president of the Greyland club. And uh, um, they were very good hosts of um, the, the um, of a function for the Cook Islands team when they were here for the Oceania Challenge. And uh, yeah, had a great night at, uh, at Greyland, one of Auckland's oldest clubs. Mm. Um, yeah. And uh, and going through a bit of a renaissance with a, a, a lot of new um, new members and quite a quite a strong uh, cohort of young members um, have joined uh, 
from that inner city um, suburb. So, you know, great to see. And so, a bit of weight okay. here from a missing. Just slipping underneath. Just that sort of bowl and arrow, but that's a good one. She'll feel like that's a good one to correct from, isn't it? Because it's not right a massive there. correction for your next your next bowl. You know, you were sort of in the area, always a little bit narrow, so you just take a smidgen more green and see what happens, and that's a, a safe shot to play. Absolutely, and it shows the intent, you know, um, you know, take you know, take the opportunities while they oh, exist. Oh, come on. So Robin Rayhana trying to get another bowl in the head here. And take again, green. that bowl just yeah, drifts green, away. She got stuck a little wide with the first, which I think is perhaps that little straightener, mm -hmm. Alex, that just keeps the bowls hanging out on that hand if you miss the line. So Aggie Motu, her last bowl of the seventh end. And she's on the drive. And she's close. Very close here. Yes, get oh, yes, it does oh. get it. I'm not sure whether she's got the shot. She's still one down. <laughs> That's the smallest amount she could have got that bowl. Oh, she's, or maybe she has got the shot. I thought she was unlucky there. A little hard to see with the camera camera angle. Oh, Marion's um, yeah. That's the well, well, that's Kirsty Hill, the Hill bowl. <laughs> the indoor bowler and me just uh, cringed okay. at the movement of that bowl, uh, Brett, but I think it was more just to double check that it definitely was one. As we see. So a topsy turvy end, really, with the, with the with the um, the shot changing several times, um, and almost um, a perfect result with her last bowl from from Aggie. Yes, we just relive um, relive that end, and uh, you know the, it's proving to be a great tussle between these two leads, uh, Kirsty Hill and Marion Hakarai. And here's that last bowl of Aggie Motu. Looked like it had missed, just got the back edge of. Um, of the shot bowl, um, but um, the Hakaraya bowl, uh, the Tiara two bowl, bit of super glue on it, absolutely, <laughs> sort of stuck around. Yeah. And uh, and so um, mm. Robin Rayhana will be relieved Take that the um, they've the hung on for yeah. um, for the shot. Nice miss. And so playing the sixth end, beautiful line. It's now Bridge Park leading by nine shots to six. Uh, sorry, playing the eighth end. And really, you know, nothing in this game um, as we approach the halfway stage. Yeah, mate. Um, a narrow lead for, for Bridge oh, Park. Yeah. But as we've already well seen, um, you, know, the, the, you know, we've got some good shot players Anyone, and draw uh, players Marley? on both sides. Kirsty Hill with another one sort of the other thereabouts. And Marion looking like she'll stay on the backhand <laughs> side. Just look to make a correction if she clunks into that shot bowl of Kirsty's. Second shot's fine. Again, it's about building the head What's more than it is about getting the shot with your bowl. As Robin <laughs> watching that Good one way. and then moving away from it to Marion, just a bit narrow. That's Good possibly way. because that bowl was in her eye line. Sometimes you instinctively tighten up a little. Big day of bowls um, in the Auckland Tamaki Makoro area. Over in Bowls North Harbour, we've got um, the champion of champion fours. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the men's um, uh, final, again, we've buddy. got um, the Takapuna team skipped well by De Jeremy Brosman playing um, Birkenhead team skipped by Steve Yates. Well, and in the women's here? final, Millie Nathan, um, fresh from her success at so the Oceania the Challenge and Marion's playing in the, the World back. Indoor Championships for Tonga, um, where she, she also performed creditably. Um, Millie's team is playing the Mahurangi East team. I'm not sure who's skipping that side in the final Looking of the good, women's Lauren. event. So, Takapuna Birkenhead in Looking the men, good, Birkenhead Mahurangi East in the, um, the women, Great effort. Uh, and uh, we've also got Look the UBC event out Short at New Lynn, um, also Bowl. undercover, um, and, uh, and back here at the Palace at Royal Oak, we have the Bridge Park side skipped by Aggie Motu, leading the Te Aratu team skipped by Robin Rayhana by 9-6 to on, six after seven ends of this final and it's yeah, well Leslie McClendon who um, just gets a nice sit off Kirsty Hill's bowl there, and it's uh, looking like uh, Bridge Park holding at least yes, two, maybe have. three. If you come through, uh, with Lauren Mills to play her second bowl of this end. I enjoy. Um, I'm enjoying I'm Robin's. Uh, expressiveness, Brett. Like it's very easy to see what's going on. 
Yeah, she's in perpetual motion yeah, uh, through, the, through the game, uh, which is great to see. I mean, she she uh, she wears her heart on the sleeve, and uh, you know, just just a fantastic person, a great great character in the game, and and full of encouragement. So Robin, uh, Same again, mate. Um, Lauren Mills, sort of sailing over with that bowl, but I'm still getting applause from Robin because we know that Robin likes to attack, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that bowl will give her another bowl at the back to play to. Meanwhile, Leslie McClendon trying to draw another shot. Interesting, isn't it? Because it must have been tempting. What have they got at the back, Bridge Park? I suppose you're putting the pressure on if you sit around for four. <laughs> mm. So it's worthwhile if Robin misses. But uh, I think first bowl here, and that's the player's view. I think we're going to see Robin. It doesn't matter if she's on her forehand or her backhand because there's bowls to go in off on both. But she'll be looking uh, for the jack or to miss very slightly onto one of those short bowls. And a big bowl in the context of this match, this first one. Yeah, I agree, Alex. I'm, I was a little surprised because um, we saw in the semi-final this morning uh, Aggie Mott, who wasn't um, reluctant to get Leslie to play position bowls, but perhaps feeling here there is a little bit of room. Mm. Um, but um, Robin, Rayahana, big deep breath, and she's on the drive. Smooth as silk on the drive. Little feather off that one. Oh, oh, didn't get the jack. Somehow didn't get the jack. That was a good bowl. That's a result from hell. That oh, is the no. result from hell. I mean, she's cleared out um, uh, the shot bowl, but, or one of the shot bowls, but she's still three down. Yeah. And now suddenly not such a good target to play to. So Aggie Motu on her backhand, and she'll be looking to try and draw another shot here to really put the pressure on. Adding to the pack. And, it's, and she's close. She's played a very good bowl here. Look, that's the shot itself. Good shot. <coughs> if it sits down, it's brilliant. Yeah, possibly he's made a bit of a target of it again. Yeah. And Rob Robin very quickly into her work, lining it up, and she's on the drive again. No mucking around here from Robin. Oh, it's going, Brett. It's underneath the head. Oh, she gets one out, but the bad news there is it's three shots. Um, that uh, Bridge Park are now holding with the bowl in hand. Aggie just taking her time while the players clear the the bowls from the back. And uh, again, nice that nice smooth action. A um, little bit tighter than her first bowl, but um, very good weight again. Beautiful weight. Just going to get a nice that. sit just to. For, that's four shots. So, yeah. So that's a neat recovery f um, from the five that. Um, uh, Bridge Park dropped the last time in this direction. Two very good bowls from uh, Aggie Motu. And uh, suddenly, just when you thought Te Aratu were um, on, the comeback, on trail. the comeback trail, they find themselves trailing by seven shots at uh, six to 13 mm. after eight of the 18 ends. And, and look, um, particularly with their first bowl, Robin Rayhana can rightly feel a little bit unlucky there. I mean, of course, you know, when you're not holding the shots, it's hard to get them back. But but she played a pretty good bowl, and oh, I mate. thought got a got probably the worst result imaginable for her, um, and uh, and made it a lot harder. And uh, uh, Kirsty Hill um, just again quickly back into her work, draws a good shot there. So so right now it'll be time for just the other two to reset themselves I see marion hakarai just slowing the game down a little mm. bit just taking her time um, time to just take stock and see if they can just start to put put together a good end here get themselves moving again in this uh, in this final see the president of um bowls auckland graham scott in the in the background there sitting with um with umpire Liz smith great to see graham who's been very involved with the revitalisation of the Auckland Bowling Club. Yes, which has been wonderful, hasn't it? Been wonderful to see our oldest, yeah, uh, the oldest club in New Zealand, uh, yes. showing no signs of fading well away. And I think the only bowling club that has actually legislated in an act of parliament. Yes. Um, so the Auckland Domain Act, which governs the um, how the the fantastic Auckland Domain uh, Park is. Um, is used specifies that this particular site in Grafton Gully of the domain uh, is uh, is to be used as a bowling club, um, and uh, and great here, to mate. see that new, that our oldest club is um, is in good heart. Mm. Um, recently had a uh, artif artificial surface installed there. Be nice to see a, 
uh, yeah, cover over that at some stage, Alex, and uh, and that club's doing well. Hard. Back here in the Women's Champion of Champion Triples Final, it's um, yeah. Bridge Park oh, holding it's two, possibly three now with that ball of Leslie McClendon. <coughs> and uh, in, um, uh, in the men's semi-final, um, it's uh, Graylin leading 7-5. So that's the Graylin team of Jamie Hill, Ryan Hill and Mo Taurua. Mm-hmm. And Very they close, are mate. playing okay. Adam Blucher, okay. you draw. Brendan Peter, Kelly, Tuck and Jack. Peter Blucher of the Tiaratu team. So, so one hill in the in the Tiaratu, uh, in the Bridge Park team, leading everywhere in the final. <laughs> Two hills in a Grey Lynn team winning their semi final. So, um, so far looking to be uh, potentially a pretty good day for the Hill family. And um, but uh, there's still a long way to go in this final before we write. Um, we write about a meter, uh, mate. Robin Ray Hunt's this is Jack Rebel. team off. But uh, right now, um, Robin with a foot down saying, "Come on, Laura Mills, I need a bowl on the head here." Yeah, it was unfortunate that Marion two bowls are both shy of the Jack because it makes drop play difficult, or even to try and salvage something difficult. Good Stop line ending, here from Laura Stop Mills, ending. and I think a bit of weight. Pulling up. This, she's played this pretty well. Oh, she's played this bowl. very sit. well. That's a great bowl, Lauren Mills. And nice sit, shot, Lauren. even sit down. So it's a great shot from Lauren Mills. In the other semi-final, Brett, I can tell you, is 7-5 as well. Uh, after seven ends to the Point Chev Pirates. So two very close semi-finals going on here under cover at the Palace at Royal Oak Bowls. Your good mates, um, Alex, um, Aidan, Takarua, Colin Williams and uh, Harry Davis. Yes. And I understand that Harry Davis is um, sitting on four Bowls Auckland Centre titles. So he'll have an eye on making that final and, uh, and playing for his gold star. But um, clearly a little bit of work to do yet. Certainly against that Balmoral team of um, Alan Moyle, uh, Travis Engelbrecht and Chris Desley. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if the Point Chef team does make it through the final, I will have to clear my bias at the, be <laughs> at the beginning of that broadcast because uh, uh, it's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex is not wearing the uh, Point Chef pirate eye patch, but I can tell you that, uh, that uh, the, oh, his well, sentiment buddy. is definitely in that... Uh, and that team and Aggie Motu. Oh, wow. What a great Come bowl. Up, Beautiful. Give me Just a looking to see if she could touch that um, that bowl of Laura Mills is out. Let's do some, start uh, doing gets some talking, the edge, buddy. but doesn't get the shot. So it's still one to Tiara two. Um, but um, high quality stuff in this women's champion of champion triples final. Um, this coverage supported by, by the Blue Waters Community Trust. A real... Um, Great supporters of our game of bowls, and that's a fantastic oh. bowl from Robin Rayhana. Wow, um, just what Tiara Two needed—they needed another bowl in the head, and I think we'll see a bit of attacking play from uh, from um, uh, from the Bridge Park team. Kirsty Hill. Just um, tell me. Saying. You may, I mean, you may as well hit it. Literally, a miracle result there where you get rid of both the bowls with no Is that jack. Our only bowl there? Yeah, like it's it's, yeah. Poss it's possible Ed to do that. Edge, edge of the Ray Hunt. Oh. Yeah. So you heard Kirsty Hill say, "We've got plenty of bowls around it. You can attack. Just don't hit the jack. Yeah. On to your side. Jack, she might kill it. But yeah, I think she could peel both of those yours? bowls out yep. if she gets the edge of that bowl of Robin Ray Hunters. You, you Kirsty Hill. So look, can you play down there with weight? Higgy a very good driver, just weighing things up. Yeah, here comes the backswing. You can see it already almost in that pre-shot. She's running. Now, when is it going to get down? Uh, okay, something square. No. Not to be. Good shot to call, Come though. Again, and Robin now with a chance to make Keep it. Up, no. Sorry, she's already played the one, hasn't she? No, she yep. hasn't. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I was confused by Lauren Mills. <laughs> <laughs> a chance to make it three, so it should be uh, very possible, I think. And oh. Robin just... Yeah, the first bowl was good, wasn't it? So yeah, and look, she'd be very <laughs> conscious of not wanting to move the jack. Look, two, two's good fishing for Tiara too. It gets them back into this uh, final at 13-8 after um, seven of the... No, that must be. 
uh, we must be halfway through, I think. So we're just going to look at um, a shot from the men's event. And here's, this is Adam Blucher um, that we see on his haunches. And that was a great bowl by Brendan Kelly, the middle uh, middle player for um, the Chatter 2 team. And there's Adam with his bowl. Gee. That's not bad, is it? So he would have made it. He would have made it to there from Tiara Two. So precise stuff. So that game is probably just about all um, tied up. Um, we're playing the eighth end um, of this um, uh, women's champion of champion triples final. So almost halfway, and it's Marion Hakaraya, uh, the Tiara Two lead, who um, who kicks off this eighth end. And uh, Kirsty Hill from Bridge Park very quickly Good into here, her Mike. work. And uh, you'll just see the bowl start to break now as it comes off there. Weight's good. Not quite good as weight. much turn at this length, so it's one to Seattle two at this stage of the um, of the final. And Marion looking to just back it up. Another good bowl. On the backhand side. And Marion just okay. around the short bolt. Peter on you get the shot. So just a correction to that score, thirteen eight, so it was two to Tiaratu on that last end. So uh, so the margin's down, back to five. And right on cue ball. it's Kirsty Hill. <laughs> How good is Kirsty Hill playing? Yeah, look she she's been um uh Unwavering, right. uh, unwavering You've got lead long accurate. enough legs yep. to step um, over there. <laughs> today, um, at lead for the Bridge Park team, and it's so important in two ball to triples uh, to be getting a getting a good start and laying that Draw foundation. The bowl or Jack, um, mate. Just there or thereabouts all the time. Yeah, the back. Well, I've been matched well by Marion. Yes. Marion's playing good bowls, a little bit through. Just thinking back to the uh, semi-final where Kirsty played 18 ends and. I could count on one hand the number of bowls that were more than, say, two or three feet away from the jack in that particular game. Yep, she was very accurate. Um, I think, you know, in this Teatasu team, you've got some very good shot players and uh, Lauren Bowl, Rolls on, and buddy. Robin Rayhana, and here we Turn have... Bomb, She's close Bowl. here. And again, Lauren... Nice, great. Oh, Bowl. what a shot. And for one. So, um, so that will be... Um, down there. That, that will be Bowl. something we'll see Movement, a lot okay. in this one. And we already have that, you know, they're not... They're not daunted by playing those attacking bowls. We saw Lynn Lopez play some good bowls in that regard for Glen Eden in the semi this morning. Um, uh, this is tight here. <laughs> yep. From Leslie okay. McLean, and she'll be disappointed with that. That's Weight acceptable, but just on, on the tight side. Draw. She's got this away. To this bowl here. Well, she hasn't got away with it, but she just, she's just put back. another bowl sort of there or thereabouts. It could have gone worse. Yep. Yeah, no, 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 that's we're, definitely we're. another, another Hold one. second or third shot for... Um, for Iggy Motu, um, but uh, it is Tiaratu holding the shot, that first bowl of Lauren Mills's. Interesting how far over to the left Lauren is on the uh, on the delivery mat there. Brent, I wonder if there's a reason behind that for her. Good, yeah, I'm not sure um, about the, the feet positioning, but um, I'm liking this one, bit. Uh, it looks like it's delivered a pretty good bowl for her. Maybe <laughs> it's just, worked. <laughs> just a little yeah, nice, quick. Nice for that. Um, but she gets a clap from her Reaching that skip, ball, you so obviously that pretty ball, close to second ball. shot, and Aggie's saying, look, just come down that, that forehand side, um, sit the bowl, trail a jack. So Leslie McClendon, uh, better line this time. Nice arc here as it starts to break into the head. How's the weight? It's okay. When's it going to stop? That's the question. And look at that, it just kept going. She really gets a lot of turn out of those bowls. Late swing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's better now. I feel a bit so, more, um, a bit more free. On the changeover, it's advantage okay. Tiata two. So this is going to be two halves. Um, uh, Robin Rayhana just giving her team a bit of encouragement and thanking Laura Mills for a very good bowl. But right now, it'll be really important that she gets a good tight bowl with this first bowl. She needs to consolidate this end. Um, we know that Bridge Park will not be afraid to attack. And at the moment they have a lot of lot more um, bowls in the head, but this is a pretty close bowl from Needs Robin Rayhart. Hold at the end of the track. Oh, it was right within. It was within Cooey. Yeah, 
at, at at maybe close to counting there. Let's see what I think Eggy will be on the draw. And she'll be looking to just try and draw a tight shot. She's played the side of the rink pretty well in uh, in um, in both the semi-final and the final, and she's close here. If it doesn't wander, back. It is just walking that little bit, eh? Particularly on that side of this this rink, it seems just to step out a couple of times. Yep. And Robin with a very small correction to make because her weight was perfect on the back end, smooth delivery. No bounce, and she has taken more green here, so let's watch what happens at the end of the track. It should have a late swing. It should start turning now. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that was close. A bowl each way for those two. Lisa McDonald having a look. How good's the weight we've seen here from all the bowls on this end, Brett? They're within three feet weight-wise. Two down. Two down, says Leslie. So... That would be pretty good fishing for um, Tiara too if they could if they could score another two here uh, and get them you know back within really um, distance of um, the bridge part team. So Iggy Motti's tightened it up this time. Will it hold? Trying, trying, going, going, gone as they yep. say. Yeah, it's a, some fine margins on that side. Did mm. Ryan fall over the sign? So two out. He, I don't know what happened, whether he tried to step over it. And oh, he might have turned around and realised it was him. Now to get measure mm. between that bowl of Leslie McClendon and, uh, no and the... That's why I said to him, you've got long enough legs to go over <laughs> Marion. Okay, it is just two, but two is good fishing for Te Aratu, Um And they're right back in this final. At 13 to 10, we've played, we're halfway, we've played 19, uh, no, we've played 10 ends, I, I'm sorry, <coughs> of this final. So, um, so as we begin uh, end 11 of 18, better. it's the Bridge Park team of Kirsty Hill, Leslie McClendon and Aggie Motu leading the Te Aratu side of Marion Hakaraya. Lauren Mills and Robin Rehana by 13 shots to 10 and as Marion Hakaraya um, delivers her first bowl of this 11th end. Yeah, nice one's game, isn't it, Brett? Three points the difference. Sure is, and it's just been interesting, um, you know, the the um, just in playing towards the clubhouse, um, just the, the um, Bridge Park team just been a little bit looser mm. in that direction. Um, while I'm um, playing in this way, they've tended to play the ends a lot tighter. So well, done, um, uh, well demonstrated by this bowl here from Kirsty Hill. Yep, just um, uh, the um, t the Te Aratu team have um, have um, definitely played better towards the, the clubhouse and played less bowls on that swinging hand. Um, which 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 seems to be a little inconsistent. Yeah, I think that yeah, the hand to the right as we're looking at it now is the side right, that seems to. Oh, it's not a bad Thank hand, you, but it, you can just sort of, if you miss by a foot, it seems to make a bigger difference at the end than it otherwise could. Just a steps out a little what? bit or hooks across. And in contrast, Marion Hakarai is just struggling a little bit this way. Um, and uh, and it's Kirsty Hill taking That's full advantage of that with her first bowl. Little short with the second, so it's probably just right, the one to uh, to Bridge or Park. And now Lauren Mills um, being given both options by uh, Robin Rayhana, just yep. look to get to that um, no, to that bowl. No. And you have to weigh up here. Do you want to take a chance on a hand you haven't played much on? Because the obvious no, shot's the, the backhand, shot. which is yep. to the right as we see it. But you haven't played many bowls on it, so are no. you better to play the forehand side, which you have? And Lauren deciding <laughs> to opt for that. So that's the. Uh, the decision-making process you always have to go through in this game. And Robin's got, um, and Lauren's got some nice results mm. on that uh, on this side, just playing that, um, playing up that line and looking looking to sit looking the good, sit the bowl or sit the jack. Head. And again, she's close. All the way back. Good bowl. Rewarded Great. for the decision-making. That's a good you shot. You go I think maybe there just now. out of the count, but a good bowl nonetheless. Yep, Aggie Motu saying we've got one. Just look to see if you can get past there. So, Leslie McClendon now. 
Well, good line. If she gets around this front bowl, she's going to be very Round close. Up. Is she around it? No, she's it. timbered. That's all right. Um, and so... That's good. Only that far um, away, mate. For sure. Again... You come soon. That bowl probably in an awkward place for, for both teams. Mm. Um, but there is a draw underneath there. The, that hand holds a little more than um, uh, than the other side. And so let's see if Lauren Mills can pick that um, that slot. Yeah, she's close again. It's a, it's a good line. It'll all come down to her nice weight. Down again, mate. Weight's good. Jack, she got it. the jack. She's looking for anything. Jack. Well, any movement there was good because that's Marion Haharaya's bowl to um, to the left at no, seven o'clock. But at the moment, it's um, it's Bridge Park holding the shot, and Aggie Motu, I think, will be quite quite uh, keen if Leslie McClendon can get a bowl past the jack here, because knowing Robin Rayhana, she won't be short. Um, yeah. So good line here from Leslie. Well done, She's mm. played this very, very well. That's a beautiful bowl from Leslie McClendon around that. Oh, so we yeah. know there's a track around it. Look at that. She's finished right at 6 o'clock to the jack. May and not be a counter, but definitely yeah, a great, yeah. great home. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> so, um, decisions, decisions here for Robin. What's going through your head, Brett? Look, I think, um, I think she can still play up that same side that um, we've seen Laura Mills play. Um, if she was to get the jack, um, it, she'd be unlucky to go two down. Um, she can be a little on the narrow side and look to try and turn her bowl onto the um, onto the uh, the um, uh, Kirsty Hill shot bowl. And yep, it's Robin just playing down that side, that sort of tight line. Got chances it, if she's got the right weight here. Just didn't have the weight. Oh, agonising, isn't it? Because she was in that right, the slightly tight area where she could go yep. inside out off Laura Mills's bowl or Cannon Lauren on to, to Kirsty, but just short of a gallop. Yeah, just looking to land in that area really, and uh, and but she'd need another couple of metres of weight mm. just to <laughs> just to hold that bowl up. Aggie Motu, um, just looking to see if she can draw another shot. Does she get underneath it? Well, she doesn't, but that's oh, probably not a bad home. It's intriguing, isn't it? Because oh. now there's a... Oh, OK. Well, Robin wasting no time. <laughs> she's cl clearly... She can clearly see the line there. And, um, and yeah, she's... Fair she, enough. She's down. Well, this time she's gone wider. Needs it to turn back in. It's uh, breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. She got a clean run. But she didn't have the weight, Brett. And it just always looked slightly off, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, more of a draw bowl that time, I think, from Robin. Um, so, Aguimotu, can she add another shot here? Just, just um, push that team, push that lead out a little further. It will draw around there, though I do, it does look a little wide. Uh, yeah, beautiful piece of, um, of weight. But um, it is... Um, Marianne just double-checking there, I think. Uh, but uh, we expect it to be one to Bridge Park. Well, they're going to measure. Well, um, they've played, and look at that, Kirstie's put the mat down. She looks a bit confused about why they're measuring. <laughs> Taking I that ball out of the count. <laughs> Maybe they're looking for two, perhaps, <laughs> Brett. Maybe one's been conceded. Let's just look and see if there's an indication from any of the players. One, oh, says Leslie McClendon. Two? See that picture in picture there. Of the two skips having a drink. <laughs> so, again, just when you think that um, that uh, Teata Tua back in the game, Bridge Park just take over the scoreboard again. Admittedly, only one shot. Uh, so, 14 10 after, after 12, um, 12 ends. Um, uh, the uh, Bowles Auckland would be delighted with um, the fact that. Um, as a result of the work they've been doing, we've seen clubs invest in facilities like the Palace oh, here at um, uh, at Royal Oak, which is enabling you know um, bowls to be still played, you know, in, in what is autumn or winter, depending on how you view the seasons. <laughs> cold. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's cold, all right. And so to Dean Bartlett and uh, the CEO of Bowls Auckland and the the uh, Bowles Auckland um, board keep up the great work. Um, it's great to see.
Uh, clubs picking up the challenge into the Royal Oak Club who've shown the vision to invest in this facility with a bit of help from uh, from others. It's um, game, yeah, it's great for our game and it's great to be able to, at this time of the year, be, be commentating on a final where um, it's been it's played in excellent conditions and uh, and we're seeing the right. standard of play um, live white. up to um, to that. So um, good, good to see. Absolutely. Well, the bowls are all there of their bats, aren't they? <laughs> And we know and nice. the, um, you look to over this at, at the other games that you can sort and of see in the periphery of the vision. Sometimes the other heads are, are close as well. And I'm sure um, uh, watchers and viewers and supporters, of course, at the Royal Oak Bowls will be enjoying the hospitality provided by the, the club as well, which yeah, is all just it. part of it, isn't it? Come so around. we see Marion here. She's made a correction. Zip. Has she overcorrected or is it going to stop in time? That is the question. And slightly passed at that 6 o'clock mark second shot. And look, we will try and get you some scores from the uh, <coughs> from the men's semi-final events, um, uh, and also from some of those other bowls events that are going on around the around the region. Um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, bowls really is a 12 month of the year sport these days. And um, uh, when I first started playing in the 1970s, we Anzac Day line. was kind of the we cutoff, and you really didn't play play a lot of bowls after that. And now, in uh, in many of our centres, you know, a lot of the a lot of the really serious stuff starts after then. Yep. You know, with yep. these championship champions, and uh, and all possible because of the investment in artificial surfaces and in uh, and in covered facilities like the magnificent palace. So, Come up back here. to the final. Inside We're, out. Well, oh, well, you take it, don't you? I'm not. Is Aggie having a bit of a look just to see who's got the shot there. Um, as Lauren uh, Mills's bowl. Career off losing McClendon's bowl. Yeah, still got I can up, tell you uh, that the Pirates, the Point Chief Pirates, lead 13 points to 6 over Balmoral, <laughs> and Teata 2 leads 9 points to 8. So a very close semi final between Teata 2 and Graylin, and the Pirates eking out a lead good. there 13 to 6 in their game Just against the uh, Balmoral team. So um, Lucy McClendon coming over with her bowl, I think. It's Bridge Park holding the shot here, uh, but plenty of room. And Lauren Mills now the the um, second for Tiara two with her last bowl of this twelfth uh, end, um, trying to get in there for a shot. Uh, she's close, just slips past. Um, and uh, so it looks like um, Iggy Motu's team holding here. Um, uh, Robin Rayhana, <laughs> always smile. with a smile on her face. <laughs> I mean, she's such a great uh, competitor, great character in the game. Very lucky to have um, uh, someone up with her um, her qualities um, at the Te Two Club. Her and uh, and uh, Marion, real stalwarts, and and that club's been another club that's gone through quite a rejuvenation mm. and and. Uh, in the last few years, it's been a regular. They've hosted the Aotearoa Māori uh, Bowls event, um, and uh, yeah, just a just a great club to to uh, to to be at. And look at that's this! a magnificent bowl from Aggie Motu. What a beautiful shot that was! Absolute cracker. Um, uh, we've we've commented that that side of the rink is a little tricky, um, but that time um, Aggie found it perfectly, and that's um, that's two shots now to. The Bridge Park team. I think Lauren just indicating a draw on the back end. Those four bowls are quite short, so you'd be you'd, you'd have to hope for luck if you wanted anything in connection there. Yeah, Robin doesn't like that one. She's walked away. Yep. Yeah, and no, I think um, just got a little bit too wide um, and and heavy as well. So um, so Eggy holding two. Yep, Lizzie says, yeah, just stay down that side. You've just drawn a cracker down there. No need to change. And um, let's see what she can do with her second ball on this 12th end. Again, in a, in a good zone. They'll, they'll turn from there. Here it comes now. Here it comes now. Yeah, they, what a great That's ball. just class, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, two, two outstanding stand, balls um, from Eggie Motu. So Rebel. that's three Let's now to Bridge Park. Bit. And um, yep. it's another big moment, isn't it? Because Teatatu seems to always be three or four points. They get within three or four points 
And then Bridge Park runs away again. So if Robin can find a way to score here. Yeah, he's stay just... down a bit more on that one. And uh, she's on a much, much better line here. She's very close here. Very close here. She is it, is it going with out? the jack? Is it going with the jack? She's followed it through for Wonderful one. Ball. Absolutely magnificent shot there from Robin. And she stopped you, the charge from Bridge Park. Outstanding ball. That's as good as that's as good a ball as you'll yeah. see anywhere at any time from anyone. Yeah, no, that yeah. Um, absolute class. Um, you know, uh, you know, two great bowls from Aggie Motu in uh, in uh, really tightening that head up. Yeah. And it was going to take a, a a really top line bowl to even reduce the count, mm. Alex. But to get the shot, um, that's something special. And so well done, Robin Rayhana. You've kept your team um, in it. Uh, and so, um, uh, as we um, now play this 13th end, um, what's up? What's it's up? Uh, up? Tiaratu still hanging in there. And that really was a bowl that kept um, the team in. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, it was really <laughs> a, it was a bowl that was the difference between the being. Uh, 17 10 down and the score now 14 11. Yep. Uh, just an unbelievably good under pressure too. She had nothing else that to do. It was a perfect, a perfect shot. Yep. Come on, I agree. Let's um, get a roll. Yeah, that you know that that really has kept her team in the game, uh, and uh, and will give them some <coughs> some hope um, that um, that Kirsty, they're not out of it. Age before beauty. Kirsty Hill just waiting. Um, uh, one of the players, I think, on the on the ring next door is looking to sort of come down that side. Probably one of her relatives, either her brother or her, uh, her nephew. And uh, the, you can see the the bowl breaking in on that ring. Didn't seem to worry Kirsty much because she's played a pretty good uh, good first bowl. Look at that. The <laughs> uh, work. So um, so fourteen eleven to Bridge Park. Intriguing um, game, isn't it? It, it is, you know, um, yeah, and all power to the yeah. Tiaratu team. You know, they're really hanging in there. Come on, Matt. Um, and not out of it by Come any up. stretch of the imagination. And here's a really good ah, ball beautiful correction, Matt. Marion Hakarai. Brilliant stuff. And tuck the jack around. Is it going to sit? No, it's going to stay standing up. Seeing that a bit on the, uh, you, the surface. Bowls don't seem to sit down very easily, Brett. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is. Um, it is a little unusual, I guess. The with the green, um, oh, probably coffee. carrying a little bit of moisture. Maybe you're just not quite getting that same oh, that same good effect. Way. That's all good. Um, that Hill, way, beautiful piece here. of weight, but just narrow. And uh, she's left foot, the but... door open now for Lauren Mills oh. to draw another shot on her forehand side. See two other hills in the background. Yes, Liam and. Uh, sorry, um, Jamie. There's too many hills. Ja Jamie and his son Ryan. Nice. Um, I think Ryan um, and yep. uh, nice a ball. junior and in, in, uh, second year bowler. Yeah, made the Auckland one to five year squad this year. Um, and uh, and and his uh, cousin Kirsty's son Liam, of course, also in that in that team. So there's the Hill Dynasty lives on in this uh, in this generation. And back here we've got. Um, one to oh, Tiara two, but look at this bowl from Leslie McClendon. Does she get the That's shot? It. Yes, That's she good. gets That's the shot good. bowl. Okay, mate. She just sails past, hey, but that certainly now, gives a much better chance now for the the um, the Bridge Park team to get the shot. And immediately, Robin Ray Harner is saying to Lauren Mills, get around on this backhand side and see mm -hmm. if you can get me a catcher in here because. Um, uh, I expect um, that uh, the Bridge Park team will be yeah, nice, playing down mate. there, and Lauren Mills has played this good very ball. well. That's a great bowl. Uh, not just a catcher, but another you shot. Yeah, there, good shot. You sit there, bowl. Move another jacks, okay? So um, you heard the instructions from Aggie Motu. Just come down there, um, sit the bowls, trail the jack, and Leslie McClendon, who um, is a pretty attacking player, um, but the, she's underdone this. Um, in fact, um, she's short, okay. which is very unusual for her. She's tended to play those bowls pretty well, but perhaps okay. um, maybe had two shots in her mind yeah, when she played. Yeah, it doesn't take much for a bowl to just 
if you, if you aren't absolutely focused on what you want it to do, Brett, it doesn't take much for a bowl to do nothing. Yeah, and she sort of played with that that tight weight, that tight line, but with with uh, I guess dead draw weight and um, and it didn't trouble the scorers. So um, so advantage. <laughs> just in the back, I just watched Brendan Kelly just about kick the bowls Auckland Toblerone onto the green, but he salvaged it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Brennan Kelly, of course, one of Auckland's leading greenkeepers, and um, uh, the Te Aratu greenkeeper, and also involved with Browns Bay and a number of other clubs, mm. Birkenhead, I think, um, as well. So, Aggie Motu. On the forehand. What can you do here? Um, definitely plenty on, and uh, I expect, yeah, it's a good line on that hand. Now, will it come? Oh, too big. What's the weight doing? Bring it back in. It's not going to turn in time. Fascinating, <laughs> isn't it? And okay. Lauren Mills saying that's how much she missed it by. This is the space you've got. So I think it's two from where we're sitting. It looks like two to oh, Tiara two. Um, Robin Rayhana, exactly not story. happy with that one, but... She may be surprised. It'll start to come back now, but they do tend to hang um, a little there with weight. So. Oh, Lolly. Aggie Motu. Just making sure that she's got the chalk off the bowl. Right, here we go. Again, she's out there on oh, that. I didn't tighten it. Swinging hand, starting to break now, but she's gone a little wide. Interesting. Out comes one, out comes two. They're having a look for that third shot. Lauren Mills doing the finger measure. <coughs> Marion Hakarai doesn't seem very interested. So, right, Lauren deferring to Marion and saying, what do you think? Do you think it's worth measuring? <laughs> Who's the bridge pack? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's a conversation between Marion and Lauren. So, Leslie just clearing the bowls. Fascinating, you know, we were 9-0. Bridge pack was 9-0 yeah. up. And they've scored five points in the same time that Te Aratu scored 11. So the momentum certainly, I mean, you can't spin it any other way. Momentum yeah, appears to be with the Tiara 2 team here as we enter the last uh, five or six ends, five ends, four ends of this game. Well, that's close. That's very close, isn't it? Touching the jack. I mean, the umpires, give them something to do, Lauren. Mm. Not quite touching that bowl. It's like a cigarette paper. So just re-measuring, just making sure that she gets a really tight... Um, um, measure on the on the jack. Generally, when you measure first, you try not to get right on the jack, just in case you move it. But um, but this is tight. Um, wow, this is very close. Oh, yes. And we get the umpire in action. So very cool. So hopefully, Liz has finished his sandwich, and uh, <laughs> and uh, um, we may even see some chocks come out. If he wants to get real pro properly technical, uh, Brett, sometimes I think you just put chocks on because you can. Good game, Mark. Yeah, well, oh. it's it's, it's oh. close, yeah. and in the in the context of the game, so you know we have Bridge Park leading 14-11 on the board. In fact, it's not uh, it's not Les. Um, uh, <laughs> see, I called the chocks tonight. I <laughs> see the chocks go. And the chocks are out. And so that, so that again, just making sure that the bowls are secure and that, and that they can't move um, uh, when they're being measured. I wouldn't trust myself <laughs> to put chocks on a bowl without moving it. <laughs> I'm trying to give the least amount of chances. And the uh, umpire, I think, what's she doing? Just well, I'm not certain. Just having a look to see which one she wants to measure first. You usually go to the flat bowl first. Mm. Seven, twelve, seven, the bowl sitting down. Right. Taking a time. So, 
this measure is the difference between this game being all tied up at 14 all or 14 13. Mm. So, in the context of the game, it's pretty important. Mm. The last time it was all square was the first end at zero nil apiece, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And The way that has been measured, I would favour the Tiaratu bowl, but mm. um, I really am guessing because it's only the umpire that's going to know. And um, and she's taking a really painstaking um, <laughs> effort to get it right, and that's, of course, what we, um, what we all hope for. <laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, the fact that she's going back to measure it a, a fourth time... You can call it drawn. <coughs> ...suggests to me that it's very, very close. And yes, you can call it drawn. And Amy Chung is this umpire. Yeah, Amy, um, very experienced, recently involved with umpiring at the Oceania Challenge. No, it was one to Tiara two, so we're all tied up. We've played 13 ends oh, of this uh, Bowles Auckland <laughs> Women's Champion of Champion Triples on, Mike, final, there. and we're 14 all between the Tiaratu team of Marion Hakaraya, Lauren Mills and Robin Rayhana, uh, playing Kirsty Hill, Leslie McClendon and Aggie Motu. And I just wonder what this momentum change will do to the Bridge Park team. I mean, they've been so accustomed to leading in, in, uh, in their games and holding that lead. 9-0 looked like it was... Um, it was um, definitely oh, advantage Bridge Park, but now at 14 all, we're in a drag race. Isn't it, uh, it's just fascinating, isn't it? All the 14s. <coughs> mm. oh, what? Yep. The, the momentum it just yeah. feels yeah. like One, two, the momentum is three, with uh, four. the Tiara Two team. Wanna get a message? 14 points. Yeah. They've scored at the same time that Bridge Park have scored five. Ring so 14 seven. five if we started on N6 or mm. 7. Uh, They'll be wanting to f to finish strong, and yeah, Bridge Park. What's going through their minds? It's the question. And you know, and now when we reflect, just how important that bowl wow, uh, that Robin Rayhana played on the on the twelfth end. end. Okay. Um, you know, that four shot turnaround, three three down, and to to get <laughs> one, and then three on the next end. Um, and you know, game on. This this is the five end five end final. <laughs> Amy. Amy called into action again. Slightly longer measure this time. <laughs> Put the, uh, the tip of the measure on the mat, and you'll measure it out. I, I, don't, I don't like the ones that haven't been oiled. No. And you hear the umpire walk along in this ungodly screech. Mm. It goes up the green, but not the case. This is well-maintained equipment here from Amy. Yep, and we're really blessed to have some very good officials on um, Amy, um, Les Smith, who coordinates the umpires, um, sitting um, behind there. I thought Les was on official duties, oh. but he's obviously observing. And it, uh, it is up um, by, Just. I think, a couple of centimetres. <coughs> so, um, Watch out for the jack. Um, Why don't go the other way? Walk the other way. Walk yeah. the other way. Walk <laughs> the other way. Well, well, Amy. what she was doing, Alex. Hey, it's all under control. Yeah. <laughs> If you say so, Brett. That was very, <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. It was a no. very stressful watch. Coming in. Yep. But no. no mucking around for Marion. She's on. Yeah, it wasn't entirely how I expected uh, <laughs> that uh, that um, tape to be rolled in. But I guess because we've got the chalk mark near, they could have just replaced it on the chalk yes, yeah. with some confidence. <laughs> but um, So, look, we'll get you some scores in the other games uh, uh, yeah, and due course. But right now, we're just concentrating on this final. Well Five ends to go, 14 all. Um, and uh, Kirsty Hill on the jack. Um, we've said that a few times today. We certainly have. Um, Up to you, mate. But I guess what we've seen uh, in this final is the shot play of Lauren Mills and uh, Robin Rayhana has really nullified just some of the drawing ability of the um, of the Bridge now. Park team. Now. Um, can they can they keep that going? That's the question, isn't it? It's such a momentum-driven game, this mm. two-bowl triples. Uh, Marion Hagerai changing her hand there. I'm not really sure why she changed her hand because Kirstie's bowl isn't right on the jack and mm. and, uh, and it is about just getting something close. Kirstie doesn't like that. She's walked off. All right. all um, right. And so we'll see where that finishes um, all good. at uh, 
at the end. Well, it didn't end up so bad. It was I, it ended up I've as a watched, second shot. <laughs> I've stayed and watched uh, much much worse bowls of mine <laughs> instead of walking away. <laughs> yeah, well, I can agree with that. Uh, with that, Alex, not about your bowls, about mine actually. <laughs> Fair enough, both um, ways. <laughs> so, um, so two now to Bridge Park. Um, as Lauren Mills plays her first bowl on this 14th end. Um, and uh, looking to try and get a close shot for um, for her skip, Robin Rayhana. It's handy. Um, uh, Aggie Motu saying to Leslie McClendon, follow, follow it down there. And uh, let's see what Leslie can do. Just a quick update on the semi-final scores. It's now 13-7 to the Point Chef Pirates after 12 ends over the Balmoral team. So that game still reasonably close, six the difference. Yeah. And the other Wouldn't semi-final, 13 ends have been played in the Blucher, Blucher and Kelly of the Te Aratu Club are leading 11 points to 9 oh, over yeah, Greylands, a couple of uh, Hill Hill and uh, my uh, last name. This is um, Jeff Rebel, mate. Thank you. So some good semi-finals going on there, Brett. Yeah, look, I, I think, um, uh, you know, when you get to this stage of the event, you know all these teams are, are uh, capable of winning it. Mm. And so it comes down to What's how it? you play on that, um, uh, yeah, just over these, these, these up, crucial mate. last few ends. And, uh, well, running. look at that. Robin just going to turn. One down now, mate. <laughs> Come back, and she got one clap. So Stay level there. there, Lauren Mills. Yep, um... Lots of work on that Get ball on from uh, from again. Robin Ray Hunter. Of course, it doesn't make any difference, <laughs> but uh, but she did will it in to be second shot, which was important because they were three down. And now Leslie McClendon with her second bowl. Much better line than her first. If she's got good weight here, she's going to be very close. Does she get around? Yes, she What's does. Just a little bit heavy. Um, and her bowls often fool me because they do t she does t tend to get a lot more turn out of mm. them. Uh, but that's a good bowl just finishing in behind there. We know that Robin is um, not reluctant to be um, to be attacking. And, you know, there she is just giving a little team talk to uh, to Marion and uh, and Lauren and urging them on um, uh, right back in this final. And let's see what um, what Robin has. Um, uh, she'll be on the draw here. Look, looking from our position like Bridge Park are holding one. And uh, Robin with her first ball. She's Friend narrow. Now this could be interesting. Is there a trail through there? No, Ooh. there's not. And she's turned the Kirsty Hill up ball over up. over that once, eh? I don't know whether that'll count or not. But um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll soon see. Aggie Motu, she's played some great bowls down this side. Let's see if she, um, if we see that from her again. Tighter oh, no. this time, just diving. What's happening at the end of the track? Little inside Whoa, out, and little feather. There you go. It's gone enough, and I think she's made it there. What's the back look like, Brett? Is it worth a nibble here from Robin? We know she's not afraid of hitting things. Well, yeah, we've got, we know that uh, she's got the two backers bowls. So Robin, uh, though Lauren Mills mean, saying, some look, green, just eh? draw down okay. there. Um, I feel like Robin's natural game. Oh, no, she's played a bomb draw. She could play yep. any shot in the world, so I, whatever she thinks she can play, she'll play. And the angle of the bowls in the front probably not... Con this is a bit ugly, isn't it? You'd, you'd need a collision bowl to follow through there, I think. Oh. She's gone too wide here. Um, I don't think she'll get that bowl. I mean, they, you do get that late turn, but um, just a little over. Yeah. So definitely two to, um, to Bridge Park. Now, what does Eki Motu do here? If she sits that bowl through of Tiaratu, she might make another couple of shots. But she is holding, and she won't want to do too much damage. Down she comes again. Oh. She's tight. Does she get another skid? No, she oh, does not. just the other way. A little feather. So it's going to be at least the two to no gap. Bridge Pack. And still, they've never been losing in this game. Yep, two it is. 14, 16. So, um, yeah, so the, the pendulum swings back towards the Bridge Park uh, team, but look, nothing in it. Uh, four ends to go. We're playing in 15. And um, uh, 14, it'll be 14, interesting to see 16. what um, what length 
uh, we get from, I don't know, they're sticking with the shorter ends. Interesting, isn't it? I thought Kirsty might have gone a little bit longer. Um, we did see that in the semi-final, yeah. literally a lot of long ends from the Bridge Park team, and that was to quite some success. But uh, let's watch Kirsty's first bowl. Have I let it go, she said. So I would <laughs> I'd suggest that Your means she thinks she's a bit short. <laughs> and she is. So, you know, if there'll be... I mean, these players are, are not unfamiliar with being at this end of a, of a tournament in, in finals, but that doesn't mean that you don't Coming feel a little bit of the nerves and the tension. And Kirsty will also be busy watching her brother and, and her nephew playing coming. next door. There's yep. her brother Jamie Hill just on the mat next door. That beautiful um, delivery of his. Been uh, the same for 20 years. Yep. Yep. And uh, that's why he's played for New Zealand and won multiple national uh, titles. Good, mate. Good home. Robin, caught up in the moment, has forgotten uh, <laughs> that the, the camera is there as we see Marion on her backhand. Just That's looking right. down, so that uh, Hold up. not usually a good sign. No. Start running up, mate. Yep. Nice, Maz. You draw down there, you beat that <coughs> ball, you get the shot. Can see in the background uh, gathering in the club. Yep, good numbers here at Royal Oak with um, people from around the the area coming in now to watch the the latter stages of, of this women's uh, final and eagerly awaiting the men's final later. It's yeah, one of our looser ends right. in this direction. Um, I think it is. I mean, it's a shorter end than what they have been playing, isn't it? I think uh, that probably plays into it because you think, oh, the jack's just there. <laughs> Should be easy to get to. Come around this hand, or you just come around Kirsty that hand. Marley's bowl is level, and this bowl, she's about that far. Lauren Mills asking if she can push a bowl up. So, pretty important bowl, this. Can, can she land one in there to really put the pressure nice on the Lauren. Bridge Park team? Back it comes now. Oh, mate. And that's a good bowl from Lauren Mills. Well played. Great shot. That's Fine, beautiful. Mate. Beautiful bowl at this stage in the game. As we near the end, really, it's the 15th, the end of 18. Lisa so. McClendon. So now Leslie McClendon, her turn. Can she get in there? Yeah, She's, close. Yeah, shot. She's close. She's close. I forget you to change your hand, mate. Just out of the count, I think. Just a good bowl. Um, here. So now Laura Mills. She drew no, no, a we're holding one, on mate. her backhand with her first bowl. Now off to, uh, onto the, to the other hand. Can she draw another shot and really get their team back into this? I like your green. Well, maybe Willing it back in. in. Come on. I don't think it's going to turn in time. Probably slightly overplayed. A very good first bowl. So, Tiara 2 holding the one. Good second shot, mate. Hold All right. On. So, 16 14 to Bridge Park on the board. 16 14 is the score on this, the 15th end. Yep, that's right. So, to the diff. One, one, that one to Tiara two here, and uh, four balls to come. Been an enthralling matchup between these two triples, and Aggie Motu on her forehand side. She's played, well, both her and Robin actually have played some absolutely perfect balls as skip of their respective triples teams and. Aggie here on the forehand, trying to do it again, trying to draw the shot. Close, just got caught a little wide. So one, two, the other two. Robin Rahana very quickly into her work. And uh, how's your weight, Robin? Because your green's pretty good here, just down to the speed. Coming now. 
Yeah, look at that drift. It seems to be the sort of rank that if you even overplay it slightly, your bowls just, they don't want to come back in. It's very weight sensitive, isn't it? Have we got second and third? Hang on. Lee's just <laughs> having a bit of a look here. Yeah? I think. I just reiterate it, just on the draw. Oh, Aggie Moto on the run. And and close. She's very close. She's very close. She's Whoa. found fresh air. And uh, we obviously misinterpreted Leslie McClendon's uh, sign language there. Yeah, I think I, I heard you say look for the bowl. I thought she meant look for the bowl more on just sort of playing mm. playing over draw weight. But obviously um, they had two seconds because I think um, Robin's uh, second bowl turned in Aggie's bowl. And so now Robin Rehana oh. just trying to get in there. As you can see, she's got a bit wide, uh, willing her bowl Ooh. over. <laughs> she has turned her bowl in. Just about. It could be enough. It's level with the jack. Two. Two it is. So we're back to square. All, all, <coughs> all the 16s. 16, 16. Peter Blucher next door. Clubmate Peter Blucher next door just... Um, uh, with the one hand clap on his hip for his teammates from Te Aratu. and so um, we um, we get start to get down to the business end in 16, tied up at 16 apiece, as Marion Hakaraya delivers the jack, and um, yeah, what an intriguing game, Alex. Oh, it's just been a great oh, game to watch, well. really. Oh, uh, I think it, it's a le <laughs> there's a lesson there, too, because Bridge Park 9-0 up felt like, um, you know, at that stage that they were well and truly in control of this game. And I think a lot of triple team triples Ryan. teams Ryan, might have let that game get away on them, but we've He's just seen the Teata 2 team one. of yeah. Robin and Lauren and Marion fight and fight yeah, and nice fight mess. and take their chances yeah, and play good well, bowls when they've needed to and look at them now, yeah, I know. 16 apiece oh, it's a champion yeah. mentality <laughs> and that's a, good, that's a good opener from Marion um, uh, you know she really, they really have the opportunity now to um, uh, three ends to go and they've got six bowls yeah, that mate. they're going to play and, mm -hmm. and if they can make those Cut six out, bowls boys. count then they'll come out with a bowls Auckland title wow well done, mate have a game, Maz. Yeah, that shot to Kirsty Hill. Um, not been bad. quite um, up to her usual standard the um, uh, <laughs> the in this in the last couple of ends. <laughs> um, I think you know we've just seen um, just seen her drop off her, her you know the high standard yeah. that she's played. So there's just been a little bit more room for the Tiara Two team. Good, so let's see how they respond good. now, Marion. Hakaraya, just gonna, she can get it the back sit. and she's got it. Oh, oh, good sit. shot yes, from Marion, well played. Great ball, Marion. Kirsty asking if she's got the shot. Sometimes you ask a question for no particular reason. It's part of the pre-shot. You know, there's no, there's no reason why a lead would need to know if they're holding one or not. It makes no difference at all to the shot that you're about to play. But you ask it just to sometimes focus yourself, Brett. Yeah, and look, I think um, here's a close ball from Kirsty. Does she get in yep. for shot? Not quite. Oh, not, not quite. Bowls. I mean, it's a good standard, Alex. I've got a lovely I mean, smile uh, you know, here. Just four very good know. bowls, all within a metre. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, these, these are going to be um, really good ends, I think, these last few. I mean, with these, you know, all of these players now really... Hitting right. their straps, as you'd expect them to. They're experienced. Hold up, buddy. Lauren Mills Hold looking up. for the jack. Does she Hold get up. the jack? Oh, oh she does, mind. but it's Hold a up. slice from hell. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Are you taught there? You know, she, she really be happy. No, <laughs> she didn't need to have all that weight, and she didn't need to be narrow. Um, but uh, but we all play them, and uh, and suddenly it's, um, it's uh, Bridge Park holding the shot. And... Um, now Leslie McClendon coming Lauren. down on this forehand side, and she's close here. She is close here, and Lauren with some work to do to make up for her last oh, wow. ball. Oh, wow. What a good a great shot. Well, tell you what, if Robin keeps... Play into the head. Play into the head. I was going to say, 
Lauren could just about play the same weight with slightly more green and pop the jack back, but she's been asked to play the forehand yeah. instead. And Lauren just no, questioning that, that saying, well, can't I play it on the backhand? I've just played that hand. Just play up to here, mate. Yeah, Robin says, You're yeah, you can. You're playing into this here? You can. If you hit here, it might not this, be wrong. Well, Alex. Yeah. It's a time when that weight that we just saw Lauren play with is fine. She can keep the same yeah, no, weight. Just... Absolutely. Chances left, right and centre. Uh, not sure what's happening. Oh, no, just waiting for it. So I thought she'd called Lauren up for a second. So we'll just wait for this bowl to come into shot of Lauren Mills. On her maybe. backhand, maybe she stands just stands there on the mat, Brett. I've noticed it a few times. On the backhand, right? What's going to happen? She's playing with more weight than I was expecting here, but that's fine. There's a target. Needs oh, to get down wide. to the target. She's wide, and really, she didn't need all of that weight. Poor bowl. Yeah, that is a poor bowl. She just really needed to the same kind of weight as before. Just, yeah, just getting a land in there. Um, uh, I guess you know it's easier to say from here, but you know that. At this stage of the game, he didn't need all that weight. That's a skips bowl. And um, uh, and so Leslie McClendon looking to get behind here yeah, just to give good. them that catcher, and that's a good bowl. Yeah, it's, difficult. it's a very good bowl. Right, it's difficult to see what would have been achieved, really. So we'll see yeah, what Robin opts to play now. We're in a rapidly deteriorating situation if yep. you're, if you're to add it to it. It's tempting. I mean, you can just draw into that and move. We've got that... Uh, yeah, I mean the blue bowl at, at, at only uh, one six, seven o'clock. They're only one down, and so there's no need to get too desperate <coughs> in terms of the situation. You can play just over the draw and still be fine. Even if you drop a one here, mm. it's it's all good. Even a two's not too bad because you get last bowl penultimate end. I mean the uh, the danger with playing with weight is if you get onto that Leslie McClendon bowl, you could pump your own bowl out clean and be three down on the head. Yeah, in a perfect world for Tiara two, they score one here drop one next end and have last bowl, last end, all square. And we see Robin underneath the line, but that's much more the weight that she was, I think, expecting from Lauren. And it's actually gone quite well. <coughs> that's Robin's locked. Bowl. She's locked it in. She has locked it in. So I think Aggie will be drawing down on, on uh, the forehead, looking to see if she can maybe jag the jack back. You know, just get into that gap between the second shot and the shot pole. Let's see. Staying down for a long time watching this one. She knows it's important. She played this very well, Alex. Oh, great that's bowl. a great bowl. That's a very good bowl. Now, that's, that's interesting call, because that second shot might pop out of there now, Alex, if, um, if there's yeah. contact. So... Again, Robin Ray Hanna just need to be a little careful here. Just see if we can yeah, get a no. look at the head. Oh, we've got Lauren on the way, perhaps. But yeah, it's it, a tight head, isn't it? So just yeah. let's see if we can look at the angles. One of the better heads we've had in the in the game. Uh, so Robin, I think, will oh, again. I oh, no, she didn't like that. I think that swooped wide. Uh, yes, it has. So. Interesting. I wonder if Higgy Mott will be tempted to play oh, with a bit of weight here. It's tempting. You can even just go the, <coughs> go the split and can it Absolutely. That's what Kirstie's saying. It's pretty safe, isn't it? Yep. You play that split on that on that, that wing bowl, and you and that second shot will pop out of there, and you'll have about five. Yep. On the so. forehand anyway, Higgy Mott, let's see what she opts to do. And drawing. But still using those bowls, I suppose. You can sit down off them instead. Yep. That's worth oh, no. three, because the jack will move. Ooh. Don't want to be narrow, though, Aggie. What's happening here? Well, she's got two. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> definitely oh, wasn't so how we saw it, um, but uh, oh, that looked good. Two. I mean, she, she yeah. played with good weight, yeah. and uh, and and so by playing <laughs> with that weight, um, it was um, yeah. Um, wow, well, <laughs> yeah. Look, um, the scoreboard says. 18-16 to Bridge Park, and we're playing the penultimate 17th end of this final of the Bowles Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples. Mm. Advantage Bridge Park, yep. but only just. Yeah, I think we're in a space, though, where Teata 2, so say they dropped a 1 on that end, if you're Teata 2, you're then happy to drop a 1 on this end, because 2 down, last end, last bowl, not the end of the world. If Teatatu drops a one or more on this end, 
I think you're asking a bit more to try and score a three, three plus. So yep. Tiaruhu now must score on this end, I feel, to give oh themselves my. the best chance of, of coming out on top in this tussle. I agree. I agree. I think with the experience of the Bridge Park team. So good opener from Kirsty Hill. And Marion Hakarai will be disappointed with that one. In the game, mate. Uh, she hasn't played a lot of bowls on that hand, to be fair. She tended to play the forehand coming this way. Um, but, uh, yeah, she'd be disappointed with that first bowl. But she's got yep, another Liz. one. Yeah, Here mate. comes Kirsty Hill what with her um, second bowl, and this is going to rub yeah. a bit of um, salt in the wound. Good shot. Um, Good shot. <laughs> still short, but, um, but, you know, a couple of shots to, um, to Bridge Park, which is... Um, which is a good start, but still plenty of room, and Marion well and truly capable of getting it, you know, drawing a shot here. Um, yeah, better line this time. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm a poor judge. I thought actually she had, she'd gone out a little bit further, but it's come all again, the way back. Come on, Matt. Narrow and um, you so now on on Lauren and Robin okay. to salvage this end. Beat this one they need to time. score. They do advantage Bridge Park for sure, but. Um, as we've seen in this game, the ends can change very, very quickly. Absolutely. Lisa and McClendon, that's a nice green. It's a nice green with her bowl. It tends to turn a bit at the end. Still good. Good home. Yeah, a little heavy, but a good home there. And, um, Let's get level, mate. Robin asking for Lauren to stay on the backhand side. Yeah, I think they're pretty committed to that side now, Alex. Um with the, the short ball of Marion's on the forehand side, so... Oh, I don't think she's wide. Let's see where it finishes up. Stevie. Yeah, just starting a break underneath again, and, yeah, the speed was good. The speed was very good, but just, um, yeah, just missing that line. Aggie having a good look still here. Still got it. Still there. Yeah, still got it, she says, so... Not so, so obviously, you know, the bowls are not super close, so Aggie just having a really good look here, yeah. just making sure that... Right. Right now, Leslie McClendon would be a really good time to draw a toucher. And she's on a good line. Pretty good she's here. on a very good line. Very close, Leslie McClendon. She's going to just yeah, come well underneath, done. but that's going to be the shot itself. Good shot. Yep. It's a good bowl. It's a bit green, mate. Your weight is perfect. And Robin persisting with a, a call to the You're draw. Low. So sort of not, not get into that panicky that panicky situation where you might be tempted to ask for a very high risk, high reward situation. And look, Lauren Mills is a very good draw player. There's no reason why she can't draw this. There is plenty of room in the context of the ends that they've played in this game, but it is tricky. And again, just a bit tight. Coming Does through. she hold up there? Use the ball, Does she mate. hold up and Use get the ball. inside that Bowl. Yes, she Great does. Great bowl. What a shot. What Great a bowl, bowl there from Laura Mills. Great bowl. Good weight. Pl played with good weight. A little okay. bit tighter, but okay. with good weight. Just, just to land in that area. Yeah, okay. And now Eggy. Kirsty mm. saying, look, you can chip that bowl out well, there. I think we might see Eggy attack this. I think so. I mean, at the end of the day, if she gets that bowl out clean, yep. it's game over. I absolutely, entire, I absolutely agree with you. You know, if you're Bridge Park, if they can find a way to score a shot... She's got the back bowls, yeah, both they'll, back bowls. They'll back themselves to defend a three-point lead on the last end. Uh, I think so. So, yeah, for 100%, I think we'll see an aggressive shot here from Aggie. Either side of that bowl, chip it out clean. If you get it square... Fine, you got the back anyway. And she's good enough to be within a bowl. Um, getting herself set. And on the forehand, Anki Motu. Penultimate end. You're leading by two. One down on the head. What have you got? Yeah, on the run. And she's yeah, close. She get a connection off this inside bowl. Yes, she does. So kind of one in, one out, and another back bowl now for for Bridge Park. So they lead by two on the board, but it's importantly Tiata two with the shot. Lauren Mills' second bowl. So it's 18-17 on the big board, 
as it sits today, but we've still got three bowls to go. Um, can Robin Rayhana draw another shot here? Oh, it's, it desperately needs it. You know, the most you can score. Remembering, of course, Aggie's got a bowl left in her hand, so they, they might not score any, but... Uh, well, it is tricky because they've, they've got nothing behind, and so she may be tempted to just try and get around behind with yeah, the first bowl. Nah, fair call. And, and cover. Oh, I think that's what she was trying to do, Brett, but she just pulled up a bit short. That line would indicate mm. she was looking to go back past, which was wise. I agree with that. So there's Wendy Clinton and having a good, good look. Kirsty Hill. Yeah. Yeah, just got a drawn out. So Kirsty's thinking, oh, we get last bowl, last end. Yep. You know? And I think just concerned about not wanting to lose their their um, closest bowl. It's interesting the involvement that Kirsty's had with some of the, the tactical decisions here. Aggie, if she gets a little feather, oh, that was a great effort. That was a good bowl. Played it well. Yep. <laughs> Robin Rayana deciding now's a good time to go and have a look. <laughs> pretty, pretty critical stage of the game. One's good fishing, um, but two would be better. Um, but a little bit hard to see how you conjure up to other than just trying to dead draw <laughs> at this stage of the game. Yeah, I think you have to dead, yeah, dead draw it. Um, focus on your green. So you're unlikely to, to make anything go hideous and see what happens. But uh, likely that Tieta 2 is going to be one down last end. No, there's room to draw there. Everything's sitting flat, actually. On the back end, Robin beats that bowl that sits at 2 or 3 o'clock to the jack. And, and should, dare, be, should be safe. And dare I say it, if you look, Alex, if she could move the jack slightly, just just to to um, to the left as we're looking at it, mm. there's a bowl of Lauren Mills um, and a bowl of Marianne Marian Hakaraya there. She could make she could make two or three out of this. Anyway, let's watch the bowl. Ah, oh, mate, didn't even let it go. Tight. Yeah, clearly, did, clearly wasn't wasn't confident. So look, it's one two Tiata two. Last end, last Wait. end, eighteen seventeen. So Aggie Motu and her Bridge Park team lead this final of the Bowls Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples by one. What a great final! What a great <laughs> final it's been. I'll just quickly. Uh, Talk about the men's semi-finals. They get into the crunchy end as well. The final that's going on to the left as we see it. As you can see there, actually, 13 all on the last end. 13 all last end between Graylin and uh, Tiaratu and the other game. I mean, Matthew and Tiaratu up, holding on the crossover there. And the other game between the Pirates and Balmoral. 16-12 to the Pirates. So four up, to, um, point chair four up on the penultimate end Halfway? there. Oh, so two oh, close yeah. semi-finals. Yep. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We should be able to tell you the winner of the game between Grey Lynn and whoever I said they were playing, Tiara Two Peninsula to our left, because they should finish before the end of this final. Brett. So we'll know one of our men's finalists, and the other one we can find out when we come back at about, I think, a quarter to three or three o'clock. So Marion Hakaraya with the first bowl of this final end of this, this fascinating is final. This is very close. Oh. Oh, that. Whoa, just slips past. That was a really good effort under pressure, wasn't it? Really. Good. Yeah, and look, look. Uh, still a good still a good first bowl. Handy. Now, what's Kirsty Hill got? Playing on her back end. Yeah, she's close here. Just yeah, mate. That's good. Uh, she oh, didn't no, turn as much as ball, I man. thought it would. So, probably a measure of a shot, maybe, in, yep. in Bridge Park's favour, but definitely plenty of room. Marion will be focusing on her green here. Try to get the ball back to the centre line, but not across it. Nice, Mass. Better Look one at here. That. That's a nice line. Coming when are you going to turn back in? in? That's the mass. question. Here it comes. Turning. Oh, no. Oh, it's gone for a walk around the bowl. That was odd. That was odd. I don't think there's another word for it. <laughs> that was, that'll be disappointing for Marion. She played that well. Kirsty Hill also. 
too wide as well, she okay. says. And let's see what happens at the end of the track. That was a more consistent turn, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, that, tu that turned Up much more there. as we would have expected. So early advantage to Bridge Park. Holding the shot, but plenty of room. Lauren Mills. The saviour for the Tiara 2 team on the last end. Yeah, she's played some very good bowls under pressure. Now, what can she do on this last end? Yeah, I think she's on a good line here. Here it comes. Is it going to reach? Come oh, on, I've heard, I just heard a pantomime crowd. So we have a result in one of the semi finals. Big Kirsty. And we'll watch the last three bowls on the crossover of this final. Brett, we're getting very technical. So we'll, uh, we'll find out who's won the men's uh, semi final. But in the meantime, let's focus on Leslie McClendon's bowl here in this final end, potentially, of the women's, women's final. She's played a good bowl here. Bowl, That's a great bowl from Leslie. Well That's beautiful. Well Shot played. Mate. Very well played. Shot itself. And um, uh, really good, um, really good bowl from Leslie. Lauren Mills. Can she recover? Oh. By the look of the way she <laughs> delivered it, no. <laughs> oh, oh no. it's a wrong bias. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Yep. Oh dear. Just going to Kirsty, turn her down. Oh no. <laughs> and Robin Rahan, no, not happy. Oh. Definitely not happy. Oh, that's. Uh... <laughs> that's sad. It's sad, and no one likes to see anybody play a wrong bias at the best of times, but in a critical stage of a game like this, yeah, yeah it's buddy. um, well it's tough. It's tough, tough to watch. What? <laughs> right. Let's watch the last three bowls of the men's semi final. Mai trying to wrist the shot back, the Tiara 2 holding the shot there. And Adam Blucher on his forehand just put another bowl there or thereabouts. Didn't make the target any bigger, Brett. No, very wise. And Mai with his last bowl. He's got second and third to Jamie Hill's bowls at 6 o'clock, looking to chip the shot bowl out. And look, it just drifted a little bit past. So we have our first men's triples finalist, and it is. Adam Blucher, who's in great form, the form of his yeah. life, uh, playing with his dad, Peter Blucher off the front, and Brendan Kelly in the middle. Yes, recently runner-up in the in the National Bowls 3-5 finals. In fact, Lauren Mills, part of that team. Um, so um, <laughs> carrying on that uh, that good form. And that in that uh, final, they had Andy Ellis um, uh, was the third player, I think, in that team. And... Um, and reached the semi-finals of the champion of champion pairs last week here at, uh, in the Bowles Auckland uh, final series. So um, going well. Now and back to the women's final. Robin. Robin Rayhana. Can she recover the shot? She's played some absolute She's close. beauties, and this might She's be close. another one here. She's Robin. close. Wow, what a good bowl! Did she do it? What's happened? It was a good shot. Someone tell me who's holding. <laughs> I can't cope for it. Uh, that was, oh, what a bowl under pressure. Reminds me, she played a bowl on the backhand coming this way about the halfway mark when they were three down. Drew a toucher. Brilliant. And no one seems to know who's holding the shot here. Yeah, look, what a cracker. That was, I mean, regardless of whether she's holding one or not, it was still genius, wasn't it? That was such a good bowl. Marion. Oh, no. I, <laughs> what I, do you think? No, I think I think maybe maybe Tiara two have got the shot here. I don't know. Um, Nor do I. I want to hear it says mine. <laughs> Robin having a bit of a joke with Brendan Kelly and <laughs> in the crowd. That's so, good. Right, Aggie Motu. She won't be faced, and there's plenty of room to draw there, but um, the pressure's on. Uh-oh. Well. Both, both shot bowls. Absolutely. Oh. Lots of finger measuring, you but actually, actually, ultimately, you just got to draw a shot. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't change the shot, does it? Whether you're holding or not is irrelevant. Well, one... one if they're holding, they get an extra end. Mm. 
what you really want to be doing is drawing the shot and putting it at, putting it. So Lauren, Lauren thinks I won down. That's what she just indicated, and uh, she does have a pretty good eye. Um, so really, Robin's just got to try and draw the shot here yep. and put the pressure right back on Aggie Motu. Absolutely. So let's see what she can do. She played a cracker bowl with her first one. In stays down nicely on that. She's wide. Ah, oh, it's gone too bloody wide. Uh, look, be beautiful bit of weight. Yeah. Beautiful bit so of weight. So now it comes down. It'll come down. Well, oh, sorry. we'll see here because if, <laughs> if Aggie doesn't mm. play her bowl, it's over, isn't it? And we'll have a new winner. Otherwise, yep. she's going to have to go down there and play it. And um, <laughs> a little bit surprised Robin playing wide there yeah. because, you know, she had Laura Mills's bowl in the front to turn over. She had um, her... Um, Marion's bolt that she could have played the jack to. She could have actually, um, she got, she's got three seconds. She could have actually played to get Leslie McClendon's bowl out to win yeah, the game. Entirely, yeah. But, um, but anyway, you know, they, she's playing it as she sees it. So, Aggie Motu, what has she got to store for us? Essentially, to remove all doubt here, Aggie Motu needs to draw the shot and win. The champion of champion bowls of Auckland women's title. Bit of line, Alex. Has she got it? Has she got it? <laughs> no. <laughs> the bowl heard. Can we call it a draw? And no. it both be winners? <laughs> the bowl heard. And uh, <laughs> that's funny. Also, it seems as if, just getting in the comms, that uh, we might have point Chevin to the final. Balmoral last bowl. Yep. Now, let's see here. So... <laughs> Great measuring game. Great that game. ball. Yep. It's, um, it's a win to uh, Bridge Park, Brian. She's <laughs> 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 just compl <laughs> completing the measure just to make sure. Just measuring again, I think, just to make sure that it's correct. But yeah, it actually looks like... Yeah. Um, can you measure it then? I'm just hoping the frog will get hungry and feed. No, no, no. Well, that does make me wonder why they might not have taken that bowl. Alex, yeah. You know, and just, I mean, I know Robin had played an amazing bowl with her first bowl to, to get the shot. But at the end of the day, you know, you play what, you, what you've got in front of you and she was probably pretty confident down that hand. The end result, though, is a win in this Auckland Women's Champion of Champion Triples to the Bridge Park team, skipped by Aggie Motu, Leslie McClendon and Kirsty Hill. A really fascinating final. It was. And, and, and any, any game that's determined by a measure, you know it's been close. And so congratulations to them and, and congratulations to the Te Aratu team who just put up such an amazing fight back. 9-0 uh, behind in the, in the game early, uh, but uh, full marks to Robin Rayhana, Lauren Mills and Marion Hakaraya for their uh, comeback. 1917 to Bridge Park after the 18 ends and a really absorbing final for us to, to commentate and I'm sure the viewers have enjoyed it. Absolutely, it was. Uh, just echo that sentiment and just for the viewers, remember we've got different links for the next round that we have scheduled for uh, 3 o'clock but it may be a bit earlier because the games have finished a bit earlier so scheduled for 3 but be aware that it may pop up a bit earlier than that. There's a final uh, a link on the Bowls Auckland page and also the Bowls New Zealand one, uh, and we believe we will be watching a final between the Point Chevalier team of Colin Williams, uh, Aidan Takaru and Harry Davis, who will be taking on Blucher, Blucher and Brendan Kelly uh, from Te Aratu back uh, by 3 o'clock. We'll see you then.